Hey everybody, how you doing? Good morning. It's Bruce here with uh, Stock Markets with Bruce. Uh, I'm the guy that likes to talk about stock markets in plain English and uh, let you in on what's going on. Welcome one, welcome all. Uh, it's a well-rested Bruce. Um, took Saturday and Sunday off this week. Gotta tell you, uh, didn't get enough sleep, but um, got a lot of sleep. <laughs> it was wonderful. Um, just keep an eye on things in the meantime and uh, and uh, just, you know, charging up the batteries to kind of get back at it. So much happening here. Thank you one and all to, uh, to uh, all of you from around the world. Say hi to us. Uh, let me know where are you watching from today? What city, town, country are you from today? Talk to me. Uh, talk to each other. Uh, welcome one, welcome all. Welcome especially all the new members that are here and current members. Those of you renewing your membership to this channel, man, you guys are great. You inspire me. I thank you so much for your support. Um, news today and developments today. We're watching the markets uh, so far uh, a little underwater. Um, you know, not not much going on. Uh, welcome all New Jersey. Look at this Ottawa, Seacoast, Buffalo, Denton, Texas, Dublin, Ireland. Look at this. This is awesome stuff. Green Bay is here. Look at who's look at who's here. Look look where these folks are from. Unbelievable. I'm not watching from China. Uh, Surrey, England. Welcome. Uh, Connecticut. I love it. I love, welcome all uh, to the channel and the show today. We're watching the markets this morning to see what they're going to do. Uh, they're under a little bit of water. Um, uh, at this point, is it, neg is it negative? Eh, I'm not so sure. It's not negative bad. It's just negative a little tiny, a little bit. Um, uh, there's mixed news coming out here and there, and we're watching all these different, uh, all these different, you know, releases. Thank you, everybody, for popping in. Thanks for saying hi to me, letting me know where you're watching me from. This is awesome stuff from around the world. It's awesome. Uh, the sun never sets on stock markets with Bruce. It's amazing, um, incredible. The Dow's down 105. S&P showing down seven. Nasdaq showing up 13. So there, right there's a, there's a split right there. Um, <clears throat> we're showing, you know, the Dow down. 0.3 of a percent percentage point. We were at record highs again on Friday. Uh, you know, this is this is a nothing burger. SoFi looking nice is right. Brisbane is here. Uh, Columbus, Atlanta, welcome. Um, SoFi, 1705, up 34 cents in the pre-market. This is the first time we've broken $17 since July the 6th. So it's been a month since we've been back here. It's been a month. We have not seen $17 in a month. $18 uh, would be another, that would bring us back about three days earlier, like late July, early, uh, late uh, June, actually. 20 bucks a share is definitely back in June and May. So we, we are clawing our way back to the highest levels now in four or five weeks. And uh, there's news coming out this week, of course. There's news coming out, and I love it. Um, good morning from North Myrtle Beach. Uh, welcome, guys. Toronto's here, Orlando's here, Miami's here. I am, man. I there's some places that are here. I'd love to be that, be it, but I can't. Um, <clears throat> we have news coming out on SoFi this week. We have news coming out on um, the news on SoFi this week, basically earnings. We have earnings coming out this week. We have um, more info coming out on, uh, on uh, let me take a look here, Matterport. They're going to they're gonna release results. I think it's tomorrow. Then we have uh, 23andMe. <clears throat> they're coming up with results. We have Navsite. Uh, they're merging this week with uh, our friends at Spire Global. And Spire Global made news, or let's put it this way, Spire Global made an announcement that I consider worthy of being done. And that is that they're going to be at an investor, an investor conference, the Canaccord Genuity um, uh, Investor Conference. Great. Th this is exactly what I want to hear from every one of these SPACs. I want these SPACs to get out there with management to tell the investment world who, who we are, what we're about, what's our plan, you know, why are we excited, why did we go public, what we're going to do about it, you know, the big picture. Um, this is what I want to hear. I want these guys to expose their business plan and their future to investors who've never heard of them before. And this is where, you know, things really get interesting for us. Thanks, Don, for being here from beautiful Hong Kong. Nice to have you. Uh, SoFi, loving it. Brussels, Brentwood, Tennessee, ahead to the cottage. New Jersey's here. Uh, good morning from Vancouver Island. Good morning from Vancouver Island. Welcome to, 
to the show. I'm in Creston, British Columbia, uh, just about three miles north of the Idaho border, which is still closed to Canadians, waiting for the American government to say, hey, uh, you're letting Americans in as of today? We're going to let Canadians in too. Can't wait for that. Uh, hopefully things will get better and open up sooner rather than later. Um, I think this is great uh, for, uh, for the markets. When we hear news like uh, companies like Matterport, for example, they're doing an investor conference. Um, uh, our buddies over at um, at uh, at um, Sixtera, CYXT, they're doing investor conferences this week. <clears throat> These companies are are beginning to ramp up their <clears throat> their exposure show, their 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 education show. It's kind of like. <clears throat> Similar in a way, it's reverse to what an IPO is. An IPO is where the sponsoring brokerage firm <clears throat> takes the, the the company that's going public through an IPO. They do a roadshow first and expose them to all kinds of potential investors, and then they do the IPO. Here, these companies have done their IPOs. They've done these reverse takeovers where private companies took over SPACs, heavily funded SPACs with additional pipe financing. And they're listed now with a half a billion to a billion to more in the bank. And they're now going out to the retail investment, investment community at large to say, hey, here's who we are. Here's what we've done. We're already funded with X amount of money. We, we already do this as a business. This is our plan now as a publicly traded company. We went public because we want to expand. We want to acquire. We want to grow. We're going to merge. We're going to diversify, whatever it is, just tell it. So we're going to hear a lot about uh, what's coming up with these guys all this week. And I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm pumped about it. And, uh, you know, it looks good. Uh, hello from Bali. Fabulous. Uh, San Diego is here. Yeah. Uh, welcome, you guys. Uh, nice to have you all here. Uh, free Hong Kong. Can't couldn't agree more. Uh, couldn't agree more. I kind of wonder, uh, you know, what what should the world do? Coming up in six months is the Winter Olympics in Beijing, and uh, I, I uh, I'm waiting for the Canadian government to make an announcement. What are they going to do about the Olympics in Beijing? Are we going or are we going to boycott? Um, you know, we have some hostages held and being held by the Chinese government here for over a year and a half, and um, you know they're just kicking Canada around. Um, kind of kind of got to stand up for ourselves and uh, I don't know what the point is uh, I, I don't know what the upside is to go <laughs> I really don't uh, you want to talk about a staged uh, event the Olympics in Beijing that they are going to be so staged it's going to be a propaganda show and I, I just am not interested in watching it but anyway um, yeah that is another matter entirely how's this going to go I don't know uh, welcome one, welcome all. Um, there you go. Boycott the Winter Games. Uh, you know, I just not a, not a big fan uh, of what's happening in China these days. But anyway, uh, speaking of China, news uh, economically, um, the talk is that uh, China might not uh, meet its economic projections. Uh, the thinking is that um, that their uh, their economy is slowing up so quickly that uh, this variant, this new variant is a lot worse than they're letting on. And of course, the Chinese, uh, you can't trust them for anything they're going to tell you uh, because it's all propaganda. Uh, how bad is the variant in China? Uh, you want to set, you know, try to get an independent observer over there? Good luck, uh, you know, get off the plane and you have, a, you have a, a mentor with you the whole time you're there, in other words, secret police. And uh, they're only going to let you see what they want you to see and let you talk to whoever they want to let you talk to. It. Don't ask don't ask those people whoever you're going to be talking to any personal questions because they're not going to, they can't answer. They're not a lot. They're being watched by secret police. They've been prepped before you got there about here's what you're allowed to say to these guys. And here's what, you know, here's what you're not going to say to these guys. This is the message we want to release. And if you don't uh, follow the party line, <laughs> when these guys leave town, you're going to have a tough time around here. Uh, so yeah, I can just imagine it's like being, it's like being held by a kidnapper, you know, you're on camera, and uh, you know they're asking, Hi, "How's the kidnapper treating?" And you're going, "Oh, he's great. Oh, he's super. Oh, he's great. No problem. Blink twice if you're in trouble. You know, like give me a break." Um, yeah, uh, China. What a, what a wonderful scenario that is over there. Yuck. Uh, anyway, 
Welcome. Uh, yep, no matter where. That's true. It's always a propaganda show. Anyway, there you have it. Uh, crazy stuff. Anyway, the, 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 uh, the Chinese government, the Chinese economy is in trouble. Uh, it is not you know, reaching the numbers it's supposed to be. Uh, over a quarter of corporate debt, that's uh, high interest rate, uh, shaky debt, is issued to Chinese corporations. Uh, and they're in trouble and uh, they're uh, they survive um, or let's put this way, a lot of companies in China make or break it they do well or they don't uh, depending on um, contracts that they are allowed to get uh, and uh, one way to guarantee that you get a contract for whatever it is you're doing is to make sure that the local officials and state officials and higher ups are well looked after and that's known as bribes and as long as you pay off these guys um uh you know you you get these permits these 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 uh, licenses that you need to you know do whatever you're doing and in effect the competition against you doesn't get the licenses to do what you're doing and in effect you have a closed shop you make nothing but a bunch of money you you pay a percentage of the money off in bribes and you can keep on going. And it's a wonderful system if you're in the inside. If you're on the outside looking in, not so good. Uh, not not quite so good. Anyway, what can I say? Um, uh, what else is going on here? Uh, <laughs> don't don't blink for 10 minutes if you're in trouble with China, Bruce. Uh, yeah, what can I say? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> too much fun. All right. Um, what else is going on? Oil is under pressure, down 260 a barrel here to 65.68. This isn't like a little pullback. We have a little adjustment going. No, we have a full-fledged crash going on in the oil market. They won't say the word crash. They're not using the word panic. They're not using the word the word aggressive sell-off. They're just saying oh, yeah, oil's a little lower. It's not a little lower. It's a lot lower. It's gone from 77, 78 bucks a barrel to 65 a barrel in a month. July the fourth was the beginning of the supposed run-up to a $90 a barrel product because of the demand from American drivers and all of you out there in the United States who want to go on holidays and all the traveling we we're going to do this summer. It was all going to be just a peaches and cream. We're going to sing Kumbaya by the campfire and cash in on this $90 barrel oil. Uh, it didn't happen. Uh, we're down to 65 a barrel and we're going to go lower because now in the next few days and weeks, you're going to begin to hear the sob story from the energy patch. They're going to say our numbers are not going to come in. We thought our second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, we would do this, this and that. And we're 15, 20 percent behind on our price of crude. <clears throat> we're not going to get the money we thought we're going to get. Uh, American drivers are saying <laughs> four bucks a gallon. Screw you. We're not. I'm not paying four bucks a gallon. Um, people are, are just uh, not traveling as much. And uh, with the variant out there, definitely not traveling as much. In Canada, you know, we can't go anywhere. Uh, you know, we, we, we're, we can drive around here. Uh, yeah, sure, you know, whatever. Uh, why would I want to do that? Why would I want to go on an extended trip at 450 a gallon? What, what am I, an idiot? I, I'm not going to do that. I, I don't. No, I've just been through a one and a half year lockdown. And, um, you know, I'm looking at the world going, ha, how long is this going to keep going on for? A little uncertainty here in our lives. You think we're going to go and blow our cash? Uh, if we have any reserves at all, we're going to blow them on a, on a, on a trip because and I'm going to pay this kind of money to the gas co oil companies when we're drowning in this stuff? I don't think so. Um, industrial needs have gone down. Uh, China, uh, the requirement or the, the, the thinking about how much oil and energy China was going to need that has been adjusted. It is constantly being readjusted. Uh, factories are sitting idle around the world due to parts issues. And this is causing usage problems where we're not using the energy that analysts thought we were going to use at this point in time. Everything is sort of on a delay, delay, delay. The other, new, the other delays that are coming up, one by one by one, we are seeing and hearing announcements from corporate America, corporate Canada, corporate uh, everywhere, about uh, mandates to get vaccinated or don't come back to work, uh, get the shot or, or you're gone. Uh, then the true the story goes, if you don't get the shot and you get laid off or fired, you don't get benefits from your, your, your government for unemployment. That's interesting. Um, we're hearing more and more companies <clears throat> delaying the return to work rule that they had imposed. A lot of them were hoping August and September would be 
hey, we're coming back to work, just like, you know, school starting, all coming back to work. Now it's November, like October, November. Others are, are just leaving it open-ended. We don't know when we're going to return back to the office en masse. Um, <clears throat> there are companies out there more and more and more in the, let's say, the smaller size, medium size and so on, where it has become apparent to them that uh, going forward from now on for let's say a year or two or three for like quite a period of time, we're not going to have a situation like normal anymore. We're, we're now down to a 10, 20% office staff environment and the uh, remaining people that we, we have in our, you know, in our universe, they're all contractors or they're all stay at home employees. We will no longer have the, um, 200 person office anymore. We have a 20 person office or a 50, 30 person office. And even that is loosey goosey because we are saying to our senior executives, uh, we don't need you here like every day of the week. We could, you could use you here maybe one or two days a week. We'll sort of schedule that. We'll, we'll, you know, but this so called nine to five, 40 hour a week thing, this is over. This is, this is quickly disappearing from a lot of companies' existences in certain businesses. Now, certain businesses, you cannot get away with it. You can't do that. You have to have the people in the in house because you're manufacturing or you're an assembly company and you're, you're a reshipper or whatever you're, you need physical hands labor on site to keep the company rolling. Uh, but I can tell you, there's a percentage of corporate uh, North America and corporate uh, G20 that is not going back to the way it was um, a year and a half plus ago. This is uh, this is evident and it's obvious and it's uh, it's it's real. This is real. Even if there's, a, you know, an eradication of this thing, uh, businesses have figured out that, wow, we can um, we make more money now than we made before. <laughs> We're actually more profitable in 2021 <clears throat> and in 2022. We'll be more profitable now than we were in 19 when we had our best year of all time. Why? <clears throat> because our overheads have gone down by four or five or six or eight percent. It's amazing how low our costs are. A number of companies are also figuring out the other magic formula, which has been happening in Alberta, Canada now for about five years. Uh, the oil patch in Calgary, Alberta, they figured out five years ago and, and is still happening now. No matter what the price of oil is, we will never go back to the staffing levels we once had. Never again. We're only going to bring people back to work with us on a contract basis, whether they're in the office physically, in the field physically, or working from home as consultants. Um, we're only going to hire people on a consulting basis with three month and six month commitments. That's it. We're never again going to bring in all of these personnel um, because if we hire people like we hired before, under the rules of the road, <clears throat> we have to provide all these benefits uh, that that are mandated by the uh, the uh, government of Alberta, in case in case of Canada, the government of Canada, and or in the USA. A lot of American corporations are going. I'm I'm based in California. I can't afford to hire people in California on a salary basis. The rules of the road are so expensive here in California. The amount of the amount of uh, regulation I go through to hire an employee up here in California um, is, is too onerous. I'm better off hiring an individual, you know, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, hire them one-on-one -on, -one on individual contracts and just pay them a gross amount of money and they figure out their own deductions, their own expenses, their own benefits and leave it at that because we, we just cannot uh, by, by doing this, by, by not hiring them and just paying them a, a consulting fee, um, we used to pay them, say, uh, uh, $22 an hour with $5 an hour benefits or $8 an hour benefits. We used to pay $30 an hour, $1,200 a week, $60,000 a year. But of the $60,000, the cash that, we, uh, that they actually got, the actual cash they got, would have been about $40-something thousand. And, and after taxes, it's $30-something, 2500 a month. Um, we're just now going to give them $5,000 a month. We're going to give them $5,000 a month instead of $2,500 a month or $4,000 a month. 
and they can do their own deductions. They can figure it out themselves because we as a corporation now do not need to fill in all this paperwork at HR anymore like we used to. We can literally reduce our HR division by 15, 20, 30 percent and just hire, simply rehire contract workers as needed. And uh, if we find that we have a bad uh, quarter or a bad year coming up, uh, we have uh, 200 people on contract, we'll have 190 on contract, or we'll have 160 on contract. We'll cut back on the contracts, or we'll offer a contract to an employee for, say, six months. And at the end of six months, uh, we'll take a month. We'll tell them we'll hire you for another six months starting a month from now. And now we, we don't pay them for a month. And that work, this way it works out that we hire these folks for six months, then a month off, then six months and a month off. So after a couple of years of this, we realize we're actually only paying them 88% of what we used to pay them because we only hire them for 88% of the time. Even with that, folks who are working from home are realizing this is still better than going into the damn office all the time. The no commute time, my car wear tears is not there. I don't have to pay to park my car or my commute time is eliminated, including the cost to get to work and back and the time away from home and family. This, I'm happy to, I'm happy to take this. I'm happy to take less to have a better quality of life because of my, my, my expenses are less. And uh, with, with the right tax planning, I have deductions I can claim that I couldn't claim before. It's, an, it's a whole new um, revamp of the business world. And it, it's, this is happening in a certain percentage of it. It might be a third of all companies running through this, or it could be like 90% uh, of corporations out there are, are beginning to adopt this policy with a certain percentage of their staff. That could be happening as well. You have your you have your factory floor where you, you, you can't really cut back people, but on the corporate level, in the in the offices, you can uh, cut back and you can have people literally working as consultants to the company from remote locations, and that allows the company to reduce their costs by three percent or five percent. A five percent reduction in costs is a potential 5% improvement in net returns or higher, much higher. And that that can make a heck of a difference. And I think there are companies out there who are just going, we're not, uh, we're not interested in having the gleaming office tower anymore with uh, 3,500 people in here. It's just not necessary. It is, it is too inefficient, way too onerous. The paperwork is ridiculous. The requirements are ridiculous. The labor standards acts, the 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 pensions, the healthcare, the uh, the uh, you know all the licensing. Forget it. Uh, we're we're not going to bother now. For municipalities, for towns and cities, and 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 uh, what have you, this this can be devastating, but can also be interestingly good, <laughs> uh, depending on where this is happening. If you're dealing with the small towns outside of larger cities. Not maybe not small towns, but small, very small cities compared to very large monolithic metropolitan cities. <clears throat> All of a sudden, a a, a a township, a community of thirty thousand people, if three thousand people are now in that in that city that are now working from home, and this is three thousand people that uh, have to eat three meals a day from home which means that the local grocery stores do more business the local restaurants do more business the local takeout places do more business um there are folks who are who are now you know staying in the community more they're going to rely more on community businesses and, and services whether it's you know uh, my dental appointment is here at home i'm going to uh, i'm going to have a dental appointment instead of i used to have a dentist in the city uh near the office but no not not anymore all my medical needs are being done here, or um, my uh, my home is being renovated uh, to accommodate my new office scenario. It might not it's not going to be like a fifty thousand dollar major renovation to a house, but it might be five thousand dollars worth of uh, worth of improvements uh, to a home, or a couple of thousand bucks here. Handymen are going to be hired, uh, local contractors, local plumbers, electricians, all all these local businesses just find that our business is up our, our our activities are up the realtor the realtors 
uh, they're going, uh, yeah, things are changing here. People are looking for different kinds of homes. They're looking for different kinds of houses with different kinds of amenities, uh, which has created a bit of a building boom around here, Very, which has created jobs because uh, building, building requires physical labor, which requires people. All of a sudden, if you're a student in school, you, you've got work opportunities that, that you never had before in your hometown. It's fantastic. Things are really shifting around. The tax generation is good as well, because obviously, if you spend money in your local district, district area, your sales taxes, a percentage of those go to the local city. It all depends on what state you're in and how you guys run your state. Um, but um, GDP is shifting. The GDP of um, areas are shifting dramatically. And I can imagine that uh, outside of New York, it's a whole different world, New Jersey. Um, uh, Philadelphia or, or Pennsylvania, Ohio, um, Connecticut, um, um, the Virginias, the Carolinas, uh, uh, communities, townships and communities uh, outside of large cities, whole different ball game. Um, yeah. And then of course there's the dramatic, the dramatic moves, obviously those folks who have decided, I don't know, I'm not, I'm, we're not going to live here anymore. We're, 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 we only lived here in this city, in this area because the jobs we used to have. Um, the employment we're going to do now going forward that we've secured and going for, we don't need to be here physically anymore to do it. We're still gonna work for company X, Y, or Z, sure, but not from this physical location anymore. So we're moving and uh, people are moving out, others are moving in, there's a shift going on. And um, this is adding uh, to the, the, the moving business, the housing business dramatically and obviously uh, Certain areas of the country are going to attract a, a lot of newbies coming in. Uh, certain areas of the country are going to find an exodus. Um, and some are just going to find a turnover. And, and it could be that the suburbs of uh, Philadelphia, Cleveland, Atlanta, St. Louis, uh, you, name, you name big cities. There are people moving out, people moving in. It's a, it's a shift over. It's a changeover. And... Um, uh, that is business. Uh, the moving of people is business. It's good business. And it, it, it's a it's a very cash intensive business. And it, it's economic activity business. The other good news uh, for the United States and the world at large uh, is the uh, infrastructure bill. <laughs> it's it's happening. Slow but sure. Um, the Senate is getting the job done. Um, they'll get to a point where they'll pass it hand it over to Congress and say, all right, Congress, put something together. Congress has its own unique issues. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll have the infrastructure part figured out, but then they'll have another part figured out. And that is the human being infrastructure bill that they're trying to get through. That one will be a little more difficult, but that one will be on the agenda. Then it goes back to Senate for that one to pass, and that one will have to pass on a 50 51 to 50 vote. That's the only way that one's going to pass. And that will include a debt service bill, which I want to mention today. The United States is technically in default right now of all their debts. Technically. Reality is the United States still pays all of its bills and they're paying their bills on time. <clears throat> no banker in the world is worried about not getting not getting interest rates from the United States. The, the United States interest is being paid. But the Treasury right now is using extraordinary measures to basically cover the expenses of the United States because politically there's no reason why a single Republican would want to help a single Democrat in passing a, uh, a new debt funding bill. Uh, there's no there's no upside for any party. So the Republicans are going to make the Democrats pass the new spending bill inside of a reconciliation deal so they can criticize them until the midterms. We all know it's coming. This is how it works. This is just business as usual. Nothing new here. Uh, the outrage that will be, you know, put in front of the media is all show. We all know it. None of us fall for it. We all know it's bunk, but it is what it is. Anyway, uh, that game continues and we'll see how it works out. But probably by between now and about the fall, say October, this should well pretty well be done. And then the the uh, the, con the the congressmen can run and, and, and the one third of the senators who are up for election, they can then go six solid months to try to convince the public or nine solid months or whatever it is, just how bad one party is versus how great the other party is. Welcome to politics as usual. Anyway, there you have it. Uh, we're down 87 points on the Dow, a nothing burger. 
We're down 5.9 points on S&P, a nothing burger. We're up 15 points on NASDAQ, a nothing burger. Oil down 242, that's serious. Uh, that is a 3.5% drop right now, and um, that could go lower. I, I still figure 45 is a fair price for oil, but um, it'll likely probably hit the 55, 60 level, most likely. But anyway, we shall see. There is no $90 a barrel oil around the corner, like around the corner, <laughs> not a chance. Not gonna do it. Uh, uh, um, the big hope in uh, corporate America, as far as the travel business is concerned, is that business travel will come back. The the hope is uh, by the airlines that the uh, the last minute flights by executives will come back like it used to be, where they make most of their money, uh, where these guys pay hundreds of dollars in change fees because eh, it's the company paying for it. It's no big deal. Um, not going to happen. Um, I don't see a lot of companies going back to the old ways because they're all going to do what I was saying just a few minutes ago. They're analyzing their overheads going, you know, <laughs> if we don't have five, 3,500 people in our gleaming office tower in downtown Dallas or, or, or Memphis or Charlotte or, uh, uh, Newark or Boston or Chicago, why do we need to fly uh, all kinds of people all over the country? There's nowhere to go. To, there's nowhere to fly to to see another executive. We used to send, uh, you know, our, our 15 people from head office in, in, uh, in uh, Boston across the United States every month to do these trips to do presentations and, and try to, you know, secure deals. Uh, well, there's nowhere to fly to. There's no one to see in these places. We fly these guys. We fly our one guy to Seattle, another guy to Portland, another one to Sacramento, another one to San Diego, another one to uh, to San Jose. There's no one at the office to go visit. These offices have done what we've done. They've all gone remote. Why are we uh, even thinking about sending a $200,000 executive with all the benefits and everything we give these people, 150,000 salary plus 50,000 bonuses and, 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 and perks. Why are we going to fly these people uh, for a two or three day business trip, you know, through Texas and, and uh, through California uh, when there's no one there to see? Why don't we just have them from their homes uh, talk on a, on, a, on a Zoom call to the executive they're going to talk to on a, uh, from there at their home. I mean, the, 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 that's it. Uh, makes sense to us. It's not like our company is weak because we aren't sending executives. The other company is doing the same thing we're doing. We're all cutting expenses, keeping our costs down. And we're finding that our employees are much happier working from home. And you know what? Uh, Charlie over there that we used to send on those 12 business trips a year, uh, he was miserable when we used to do that. He hated those trips. He did. He was not a happy camper. And we found that the day before and the day after the trips, he was not all that productive because, you know, he was uh, depressed about having to leave his family and kids. He had all kinds of issues at home because, you know, these are human beings. And then when he got back, he was exhausted and uh, uh, the productivity is way down. Now, uh, he, there isn't any of this nonsense. He, he, to, to, he used to be a, a three-day business trip to get in four meetings. Well, the four meetings are being held, um, you know, during the week uh, on remote tele, and it's working. Why do we need, you know, there's none of, the, there's none of this, let's take this guy out for some drinks and get him plastered and get him to sign a contract to buy our stuff those days are gone. That, that, that's 1960s. It's, it's over. Um, you know, this, this whole chummy, chummy, take him out for a golf game thing, that's over. It, that's so yesterday, so not going to be done anymore. Um, and so now we have, uh, we have people who are traveling out of their living rooms uh, to other people who are receiving travelers and vice versa. Uh, this is great. And as far as the the business concern about doing business back and forth, you have these executives talking to each other multiple times a week in person because they're available uh, to do this rather than, well, I can't talk to you until tomorrow because I know you're in the air all day today. And I also will talk to you in a couple of days when you settle into, you know, wherever you're going to be. No, no, th this is happening. But they're always in the office. <laughs> they're, they're available. Uh, texting. Um, Zooming, uh, emailing, 
yeah, it's it's completely changed out. This is a 10 year process that's happened in the last year. I've mentioned this before. We have changed it. We've done 10 years of changes in a year and a half. And this is not we're not going back. There's there's no way this, this is too inefficient. It is too expensive and inefficient to have a two thousand dollar a week employee uh, using two days a week to travel somewhere. I mean, that, that's 40 percent of that person's time. That's not productive in the office. Yeah, they're working on the plane kind of. Yeah. But no, uh, no, they're not there. No, this is not right. And for the employee, a lot of them were expected to travel in the evenings or, you know, very early or very late in the workday to get to and from wherever they were going to. And that was personal time. And this was the family time they were sacrificing for that career of theirs for the so-called big money. These folks are going, uh -uh, I can I can Zoom call this person at their house or whatever, you know, whatever office complex they're into now. And even if they're in their office, if I if I'm doing a presentation to 10 employees of company XYZ, I'm doing, you know, 10, 10 representatives of this company. Great. Well, those 10 don't have to be in the same room. And isn't that handy all of a sudden? So instead of having 12 or 13 people having to find a way to meet at one spot, doesn't matter. And if one of the 13 doesn't feel so hot, you know, they got a bit of a fever. Uh, it's all right. They can, they're still in the call. They're on the call from their home and they don't infect anybody else in this room. Brilliant, uh, really, really brilliant. So the, the, this, this is not changed, will not change, will continue. On. Anyway, that's how I see it. Um, my old, my little old rant on a Monday morning. How you doing? <laughs> nice to have you here today. Um, we're down 77 on the Dow, 490 on S&P. We're up 14 on NASDAQ, down 257 on crude. Our favorite stocks, we've got SoFi at uh, 16.91 right now. Uh, we have uh, Robinhood sitting at, uh, looks like 57.94, up 2.93. SoFi still up 21 cents. Was as high this morning at one time of 17.10, maybe, something like that. Haven't had a $17 price on SoFi for about four or five weeks. Uh, other stocks to watch, um, uh, keeping an eye on, uh, what was it, 23 and Me this morning. I noticed it was up a little bit earlier today. 892, up 22 cents on uh, on 23 and Me. It had it hit a high of 897 on uh, on Friday. And we have not had a $9 price trade on this stock since the 23rd of July. So uh, this has been several weeks that we have not had the $9 neighborhood. We haven't seen $10 a share on uh, 23 and Me since about July the 15th. So you get a $1.08 move from here. We got, we're going back to the, to the July range, mid-July range for this stock. So come on, 23 and Me, let's make a run. Who else is doing what and where? Uh, Matterport, uh, close to 15.22 on Friday. It's now 15.20 down two cents on the day on 1900 volume. We got 23 minutes to go until we open. Um, it, it, it hasn't changed, much, traded much, so it's very difficult to uh, to uh, penny uh, to to nail us down. But there are earnings reports, and there are there are uh, show and tells this week, so they will be out there uh, promoting themselves uh, quite aggressively. NSH, as I said, uh, Friday is the day. Uh, Nav site becomes uh, uh, Spire Global. They're involved in a, a show and tell this week. Uh, stocks at 997. It's kind of being held around here. We'll watch that closely. See how that all kind of comes out. Um, what else? IBM, the heartbreaker, is sitting at 142.20, down at 25 cents a share. Don't have any news here today at this point that I know of. We're watching for that one. How it'll handle it. How it'll react. AMC today, uh, close at 32.70 on Friday, sitting at 32.50 this morning, down 20 cents. There's more and more talk <clears throat> out there. Uh, from analysts reviewing the the entertainment business as a whole, the the, the whole enchilada, and um, more and more talk um, keeps coming out uh, from places like Disney and others about the the importance of content and how um, how you distribute the content. Uh, what's the better way to go? And Disney is finding out firsthand just how juicy it is to be the distributor of their content rather than just be the creator of it. And this is through 
online streaming. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Disney is having a uh, an interesting time of it, signing up tens of millions of subscribers to their own streaming service. And this is uh, avoiding outfits like Netflix and others. Um, but on top of all that, um, they're now coming up with strategies where, you know what, we're going to reveal and re release a movie for theatrical release. But after two weeks, we're going to pull that movie out and only go online from here on out because we know that the first two weeks we get 90% of our views or 70% of our views and then it really drops off and with the royalties we have to pay to AMC for their expenses we're better off just showing it off on our own in-house um, streaming service and uh, we keep all the money um, we, we run our own company we run our own service and uh this will get more people to want to pay so much a month to be part of this system. And this is this is bad news for all s cinema companies. Absolutely bad news because it used to be a six, eight week exclusive window for all these releases. And I'm beginning to wonder, and I, I'm not beginning, I've, I've already seen it, but I think the street might be, be beginning to wonder just how this how this is affecting the future of the AMCs of the world. They have they have got to find alternative income stream sources income sources for those massive real estate footprints that they're paying rent on and trying to keep air conditioned cool in this unbelievable heat wave. Uh, if you can't fill out your theater uh, every day for for you know hot movies you, you've got a problem and that that's gonna you're gonna run into a scenario where you might be a hot weekend business like Thursday nights Fridays Saturdays and Sundays you're hot but Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays you're cold and and all of a sudden you're down to 65 percent um, um, production time you know productive cash flow time and 35 uh, percent pure drain on the bottom line this is not good for a company that's in a, in a lot of debt right now this 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 is just one of those issues that they have to deal with and uh i tell you the disney folks are figuring out hey um you know it's all about return on equity and uh uh can we make a good return a better return on our our latest releases through uh in-house streaming rather than uh, third party um and that includes the netflixes of the world the craves uh, the super channels the hbo's or whoever these distributors are um, interesting what's happening there. We'll see how that works out. Robinhood 5782 up 281 a share. Um, I can't justify this stock anything over 25 bucks a share, but there it is. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to, uh, what to make of it. Uh, <clears throat> it, 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 to me, um, it just doesn't, it just does not justify being here, but, uh, <laughs> they're not listening to me. Uh, okay, ATIP uh, 450 on the pre market on 3,000 shares volume. We're up 12 cents. Uh, we hit 450 for the high on uh, on Friday. I don't think we could even break 450 for the high on Friday. I think that was a yeah, there was an artificial wall there. Uh, we did break 450, um, I thought on uh, yeah, on the uh, on the 5th of August, so that was a couple of days ago, just for like a second, but we really haven't had a 450 breakout yet uh, from the drop off. Um, the the last time we saw $5 a share, by the way, uh, for this stock would have been the 23rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, somewhere in there. Uh, when the shares went from about 830 to uh, 382 in about four days, hitting a low of 281 in five days back on July 30. But that was month-end selling. That is gone. We've been building a base ever since now. We've been at uh, from the 3rd of August to now, which is the uh, the 9th, the six days, the stock's been hanging around 450 a share-ish uh, for 2450. See what happens here as we open up with trading today. Um, should be interesting. I'm waiting to hear uh, news. Oh, I'm just seeing a news release here. Hang on. CEO steps down. Hang on. Um, the press release says ATI Physical Therapy announced a CEO transition. Hang on. All right, here we go. Uh, release this morning. Uh, uh, 
ATIP, the largest independent outpaid physical therapy, outpatient physical therapy provider in the U.S. So they announced that Labid Diab has stepped down as CEO and a member of the board of directors, effective immediately. That that's not a uh, that's like a buyout. That's like you're fired. Here's to take a check, get lost. John Jack Larson, who has been a member of the board since 2018, had been named has been named executive chairman and will take on an active role in leading the company along with Ray Wall, chief operating officer, and Joe Jordan, chief financial officer. ATI tends to conduct a national search for a new CEO with the assistance of an executive search firm. This, this is uh, this is exactly what you want to see. Uh, this is exactly what you want to want you, what you want to have here. Um, this kind of an announcement screams at me that um, that they're um, um, they didn't wait to bring a new person in. They immediately dumped this guy now because of the disaster of this uh, first uh, you know, month of being a public company. Th- they weren't waiting to replace this person and you know with another candidate and then have a smooth transition. No, this one is out now, out the door immediately. And um, and now we're searching for a CEO. Now, as an incoming CEO, if you're a, and you have leverage over these guys to say, well, uh, you, you're a basket case. You want you want me to you want me to come in here. You're looking for me to salvage this mess uh, it's going to cost you and they're going to go whatever the price, because you know, we're in trouble. Um, I love this. I, I'm really, I'm really happy to see this uh, sudden, instantaneous. You're out of here. We're bringing in a hitter now. What I would not be surprised to see is a hitter that's going to come in here. A CEO is going to be a veteran of publicly traded companies. Someone who's used to running a publicly traded or is high up in a publicly traded company with a lot of background in this area, which means that that individual will be uh, tasked with creating a, a serious investor relations team, which obviously this company doesn't have. So yes, there's going to be a massive upgrade here, public awareness, uh, public uh, one-on-one uh all everything this is good this is really good i'm really i'm actually quite happy to see this it wouldn't surprise me if the stock actually went up today it would not surprise me because the street is going to smell just what i'm smelling out right now sniffing out right now this this is the kind of news that ati had to bring out a dramatic shift it could be the first of several dominoes to fall there may be additional executives heading for the door in the not too distant future. Uh, But we'll start with the CEO. This individual will be brought in. This individual will will assess the team that's here and will decide who stays and who goes. And it could be the beginning of a purge, which this company desperately needs because existing personnel, they're a disaster with regard to what's been happening with this stock. This is most interesting. All right, I'm happy to see this. Uh, we're going to find out shortly how this plays out. 12 minutes, we open up. All right, buy the dip on ATIP. If there's a dip, if there's a dip, yes, a good time to sell puts on ATIP. If only there were premiums. Uh, I don't know if there are any, but uh, keep an eye on this uh, closely, uh, what's going on. Thank you, uh, Jiro, for, for that. Um, what's your thoughts on INPX? I have no idea who that is. I have no idea who that is. Um, <clears throat> let's see what's going on. Uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, interesting, interesting uh, development there. I'm very happy about that. Uh, this is good. This is good. This is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, thank you all for joining me this morning and being here, uh, getting ready for the opening here in 11, 12 minutes. Let's hope we have. Uh, let's hope we have some stuff going on. Uh, GameStop. I have no news for you on GameStop this morning. Uh, so far, very quiet. Uh, will there be any developments uh, to to report to you? I uh, sure hope so, but it's dead quiet right now. 150.101, there's nothing going on here. 12,000 trade in the pre-market. I mean, we're talking quiet. Uh, so I have no, uh, no updates. I think uh, September is the next financial uh, release, so um, nothing much happening there. I'm waiting for, obviously... Um, uh, corporate updates on how those distribution centers are going, 
is there any news on 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 tokens is there any news on uh, is there any news on crypto is there any news on i mean there's so much that could be coming i don't know um anyway there's there's where we are i don't know that's all i got uh anyway thank you all for for being here um thank you those of you who joined us this morning that uh, are non-members of the channel thank you for popping by and seeing us today uh please consider becoming a member of this channel if you do, uh, you can cons constantly comment uh, with us, and uh, we'd love to have you join us uh, as uh, as fellow members. Um, in the meantime, we're going to go uh, members only comments from here on out. Uh, thank you, all of you who are uh, who are here today. It's fantastic that you're that you're with us. Love it. Uh, thank you for the thumbs up so far. Two hundred thirty three have come in. That is awesome sauce. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, very good. Um, and uh, let me move on here. Another comment here. AB, um, uh, so that IBM and Kindrel spin off that, but th those are going to be two separate stocks. Kindrel is supposed to be more nimble IT division. Uh, AB, uh, your guess is as good as mine. Um, I, I am led to believe that there will be two separate companies. That that's I've got that impression, yes. After that, I got nothing. I don't know how this is going to get done. I don't know what the deal is. Do do you get? Uh, are they going to are they going to uh, do any stock splits at all? Are they going to like how is this going to go? Like, are they going to take an IBM stockholder and say, okay, you have one IBM share now, <clears throat> you're going to have starting you know whenever one IBM and one Kindrel, uh, or are you going to have uh, say um, uh, you're going to have uh, three IBM and two Kindrel when it's all said and done, and they'll trade at lower pricing. And I don't know. I got nothing. I got. I see nothing. I read nothing. I have nothing at this point. And uh, as soon as you guys know, you let me know. As soon as I know, I'll let you know. But um, I got nothing. Uh, JB, uh, there's there's the insight you needed. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what's up with the massive gold sale? I don't know. I, I don't care. Um, gold is uh, gold is so yesterday. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, SoFi broke seventeen dollars. It did. Uh, SoFi did break seventeen dollars. Uh, we've broken seventeen dollars for a good chunk of the day today on SoFi. Um, happy to see that. Um, uh, not sure, uh, you know, where it's headed, uh, uh, except that I believe the opportunity is for it to go much higher simply because uh, this is the week they're going to release financials and have their conference call and you know there's all kinds of stuff going on it is a, a, as we speak 1694 so you know it's uh, t it's teasing us to know it and to know, to know it, you know that's international business machines to you bruce it's not ibm it's called international business Machines. thank you <laughs> i noticed iron is is down copper is down uh again again because of the china factor there's questions about will the demand in china be you know as as expected or lighter at the moment we're not sure anyway there it is uh my six air warrants uh tuned uh, turned up in my account 1300 warrants for free there you go yeah you are welcome uh everyone who has six terra shares uh if you had them before the uh before the merger was done you are now a shareholder you're now a, an owner of warrants which you can sell anytime you want hold them for as long as you want they go until 2027 apparently very good. When should we write calls on our SoFi? As soon as it breaks 25 a share, the 30 a share, we can start talking about that. We'll see what's going on. Um, we're only eight dollars away. You know, eight bucks a share. That's just two days of trading. We could be there. I like it. Um, I like free stock. Well, there you go. Uh, let's see uh, what else is going on. I'm actually looking for a dip on SoFi this morning. I'm looking to grab some 15 to 1750 uh, 22 contracts on april for 22. interesting interesting well we'll see what happens about that uh yes sorry uh fun times at the sofi corral 1698 right now 892 on 23 and me holding a 22 cent gain all morning it's been up here uh 17,600 shares traded uh, i have no news on 23 me other than this week financials come out uh that i do know but uh, I've got nothing. I have nothing official uh, as of this morning uh, to to justify the twenty cent bump. Other than I'm guessing, uh, you know, maybe uh, uh, some folks are getting in here now before the company speaks. 
perhaps uh, you know there's a uh, a group out there that that likes what's coming up and believes uh, believes in the future, and they're they're trying to scoop up whatever cheap stocks coming in. I don't know why they're chasing them in the pre market, but yeah. Who am I to say? Uh, I don't know. Uh, CYXD posted financial. Someone else mentioned it too. Hi, Uncle Bruce. Hello, Beach Boy. Um, let's see. Uh, what else is going on? Leap, laughing out loud. Ape, uh, whatever. For the love of God, no more SoFi dips, please. No more. <laughs> 1704, 1705. We're popping up right now. We have five minutes to go before we start trading. We got SoFi moving up a little bit right now. Thank you. Uh, Cloak, just I just want a better deal, man. I just want a better deal. We all do. 1704 on 571,000 shares on SoFi. 23 me traded 22,000 at this point. GameStop sitting at 151.99, up 22 cents on 14,300. We're talking quiet here, people. Very quiet. There you go. Um, we are getting ready to open in four minutes and. Uh, Quite curious to see how our shares are going to do. Um, well, yeah. What are the chances it'll be uh, that ATI's new CEO is Ryan Cohen? Uh, the chances are less than zero, uh, like completely less than zero. Uh, let's see, Uncle Bruce, any thought on how to bring some money on, uh, bring m some money on my GameStop shares or momentum? Um, oh, 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 and oh, <laughs> I see, trying to raise some money on GameStop shares. I understand. Uh, well, you know, um, GameStop, uh, uh, you can always write puts and bring capital in that way, but you're, you're committing to buy stock. Um, you can write calls, of course, uh, which a lot of you are doing, and, um, you know, you, you uh, bring that in. The other way to do it is let the stock uh, take a run. Is the stock going to take a run? I, I don't know. Um, I haven't seen anything yet that uh, the company has not said anything this morning. Um, could they say something later today? Yeah. Could they make an announcement tomorrow? Yeah. Will they? Don't know. Uh, I'm here. I'm watching. Good morning, everybody. Nate, good morning to you. Nice to have you here. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, here, Dave, you're right. If you sell a put, you're guaranteeing the, the price you pay for a stock Collect the, and collect the premium. You may never have to buy the stock if you don't get exercise, but if you do, Get that dip price exactly right. I mean, look on GameStop, you can write 135 put contracts, 140 puts, 125 put. I mean, any price you want. But if you can write out of the money put contracts, be paid a premium to do it, where you commit to buy stock, say at 130 bucks, you get paid ten dollars to, to to do that for a certain amount of time. You're now only paying 120 a share because you got the ten bucks up front against the 130 cost. You only have to come off 120 on. Are you happy buying? GameStop 120, well, if you like the stock, you probably would. Here's the kicker, the good news. Shares don't reach 130 during the contract period that you've written this contract for. You keep the 10 bucks as a gift to you. Uh, that's a nice way to bring income in uh, into your pocket for guaranteeing to buy a stock at a set price for a certain amount of time. I love this deal. I, I consider it a win-win. <clears throat> the stock goes down, you get it at the price you really want it at, which is a serious discount. You don't get the stock, you, you keep the money, and you can write another put and do it again. I love this. Uh, you can bring in 10 bucks a share on GameStop, say, six times a year doing this. You're getting paid $60 a year per share to buy a stock you're not buying. Sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? And you're getting paid 60 bucks a year to commit to buying stock that you're not going to buy, and yet you like them. And you don't have to be a shareholder to do it. Yeah, I like I like the idea. I like the idea on on, on the out of the money Apple puts. I like the idea on out of the money IBM puts. I like the idea out of out of the money Microsoft puts. Yeah, if you have a a, a good vibe about the uh, the company long term, then write puts out of the money puts a month or two down the road, and, and take the money. Um, yeah, take a premium for for a stock that you're prepared to pay for at a much lower price including the premium, which will reduce, reduce the price even more, and you don't ever get exercise, thank you. Let's write another. Um, yep, MTTR is up 12 cents. Go Matterport. Go, go Matterport, please, please. Yes, yes, 15.33 is the price of the stock. It's up 11 cents right now. All righty, let's see what's going on. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me, what else is happening here? Uh, Gary B is saying, AB, regarding uh, Sextera, the quarterly net loss included what looks like a one-time $58 million restructuring charge 
That amount was for breaking the facility lease. Don't know anymore at the moment. You ain't seen nothing yet, says Anti PC. There you have it. I know it. Uh, we're about to open. We're a minute away. Let's go, baby. Uh, Matterport's going up, they say. I like it. Um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, oops, spoke too soon. Someone says, uh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, here, you only lose the stock crashes out, and then you're just holding the true dip, whatever the dip price you got assigned for. I like the idea of free money. I agree. Uh, there you have it. All right, well, let's see what we're going to do. We're at 6.30 right now. We're going to start trading here in one moment. Let's see what this market wants to give us. The bells are ringing over here on CNBC, so there you go. It's official. We are trading now. The Dow is down 32 points. S&P is up a quarter point. NASDAQ is now up 21 points uh, to start the day. Um, what is happening here? We've got Matterport uh, sitting at 1522, I think. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. Might still be looking at Friday's last play trade. We'll wait for a moment there. Let's take a look at some other stocks right now. Robinhood is up 443 to 59. 44. Um, we've got SoFi showing a price of 16.97 of 26 cents with a high already of 17.18. So we're, we're jumping around here. 976,000 shares. 17.14 now last trade. It just These are just coming through live. We're up 43 cents on SoFi right now. GameStop 151.33 down 44 cents initial initial pricing. ATIP down a half a penny maybe. 437 and a half, something like that. AMC up 18 cents. Matterport, 1526 up four. Uh, 23 and me up 12 cents to 882. Fifth wall up eight cents to 1219. Vector up seven cents to 1019. Navsite up a penny. Uh, six strap down 14 to 864. Uh, right now, 864 and 17,000 shares at the moment. IBM uh, down 33 cents to break everybody's heart. Uh, Robinhood now 58.14. Uh, SoFi 17.30 up 59 cents. Best level now in five weeks. Uh, GameStop up seven cents, 51, 51, 84. Uh, ATIP uh, 436 down two cents. AMC up 11 cents. Matterport now up a dime to 15.32. 23andMe up 18 to 888. Uh, fifth wall up 8. Vector up 7 to 1019. There you go. We got some positive moves on a bunch of our stocks. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, special meeting for fifth wall acquisition August 23rd. Is that official? That's great. That's fantastic. Uh, that would be uh, much sooner than I anticipated. Uh, sure hope that happens. Uh, if that's the real deal, that would be just beautiful because <clears throat> fifth wall has been uh, uh, pent up uh, ready to roll here uh, with all kinds of potential buying coming in on it that would be fine by me fifth eight ati physical therapy 433 right at the moment um i'm gonna bet you that it might go up uh this might go up today because of the uh, uh the goodbye to the uh, ceo this could be interesting Fifth wall is now at 12.19, up seven cents, and I'm just going to take a look to see if there's anything official anywhere here. Yeah, registration statement August 6th. I uh, don't know if that's what we're after here. Uh, yep, scheduled 23rd of August. 23rd of August, uh, they're going to become smart rent. Uh, so that is in uh, uh, in two weeks. Uh, yep, in a couple of weeks. Okay. Thank you. Uh, nice to hear that. Nice to see that. Fabulous. Uh, 1219 at the moment, up seven cents. The all time high, 1290 so far. That's the all time high. This deal's getting done at 10. I don't think anyone's giving up their stock on this deal. All right. Uh, we've got SoFi, 1709, up 38 cents. Robinhood at 58 bucks. GameStop at 150, 84 down 93 cents. ATIP 434 down 4 cents at the moment. The ATIP volume so far, 54,000 shares. Not much happening here. Um, there's, I doubt there'll be any heavy selling because of this uh, CEO changeover. Uh, I don't see any reason why anyone would want to um, dump the stock. Uh, just having them do this. This is to me is great news. Um, they've got to beef up the management of this company and put in management that can run a publicly traded company. That's what we need here. And the hope we hope we have here, we hope what we have here is the right kind of person coming in to do it. We'll find out when they tell us who it's going to be. 
hopefully soon. Uh, I'm sure they've been working already uh, behind the scenes for a few days. Uh, this this move did not happen this morning. This move has been in the works for days, and they have basically convinced the CEO to step down, probably take a payout and walk away. So interesting uh, how this is going to play out. All right. SoFi, 17.11, up 40 cents now. Volume on SoFi, uh, 1.6 million. Now it's 17.18, up 47 cents on 1.6 million already. Very good volume to start this morning off. GameStop, 152, up 24 cents. Uh, we've got uh, Matterport sitting at 15.15, down 7. Uh, 23 me up 15 cents to 8.85 on 73,000 shares. Uh, fifth wall, um, 1234 up 24 cents right now is what we've got uh, on fifth wall. So we'll take that. There's uh, good news there. Vector up 13, Nafside up a penny, Sextra still down 18 cents. IBM uh, down 43 cents to break all our hearts. The Dow's down 120 points. Um, we've got S&P down 8, NASDAQ down 6, oil down buck 82. So it's a negative start to the day at this point. We'll see how this... Uh, how this continues to play itself out. All right. Interesting stuff. Never a dull moment. Uh, welcome to another day in paradise. Uh, 1715 on SoFi, up 44 cents a share. Ah, uh, that is good stuff. A lot better than what we've seen before. Microsoft is up 91. Apple uh, down six cents. Tesla up nine point uh, nine eighty. Uh, Bed Bath Beyond down a dime. BlackBerry down two cents. Royal Caribbean down a dollar thirty six to seventy seven fifty six. Norwegian got cut uh, by a brokerage firm. They cut their their target by five dollars a share. It's now down to twenty four twenty nine. Down sixty cents. Carnival down forty four cents. Um, Amazon down fourteen bucks. Uh, Facebook down forty cents. Google down eight dollars. Uh, Goldman Sachs down two thirty a share to three ninety five. But it will go to 700 a share. Uh, that's what we're at. What we got? Uh, Intel up 27 cents. Micron down a buck ten. All right. Uh, not a lot to uh, not a lot to report on on uh, on the big market. Um, but we are off to a bit of a dip to start. I'm not too worried about it. This is hardly an issue here. 130 point drop on the Dow. Nothing to uh, nothing to worry about there. Okay, let me go back here. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, welcome all to the uh, to the show here this morning. AMC up sixty nine cents. I don't know if it's going to run or not. Um, uh, yeah, newsflash: IBM is going to change the symbol. IBH. Uh, I break hearts. How about that? Uh, <laughs> Can't believe Robinhood is going higher. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's goofy, uh, but don't worry. Everything's fine uh, because as long as they don't call a congressional investigation, everything's fine. You have nothing to worry about. The only crooks are the people who buy and sell GameStop shares and AMC shares. Those are the only crooks out there. Everyone else is legit, even Robinhood at 59.15 a share, having just underwritten at 38 they're just fine. Oh, they're fine. No problem there. Uh, the people who suspend people from trading stocks, they're the good guys. It's the suspended that are the crooks. There you go. My sarcasm, I hope, is coming through. Um, what can I say? GameStop, 154.99, up 322. All right. How about that? Um, Hood, going to 1,000. Oh, really? Uh, laughing out loud. Um, GameStop looking strong. Uh, love it. Uh, 155.41. Uh, 23 Me just popped up. The 910 up 40 cents. ME is popping. GameStop 155. It's popping. Uh, ME looking good. Uh, why? Can't tell you. Uh, if I, when I know, you'll know. Uh, <laughs> 909, uh, right on. Go 23andMe. Uh, just, 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 you don't even have to give me an excuse. Just go. Just, just, just giddy up there. Giddy up. That's what we want to see. Right on. Matterport holding at 1516 now. Now 1522. Uh, watching for it. Jumping around here. Uh, the Dow down 130. S&P down 11. NASDAQ down 23. SoFi under 17 to 1689 at the moment. Uh, that's what we've got. Uh, Matterport 1516 again uh, down 7. Uh, 
GameStop, 155, up 323. The high today, 155.48. Volume, 127,000 shares. Light. Uh, 440 on ATIP. We're up two cents now on 82,000 shares. ATIP could have a good day today. This could be a good day. Um, uh, let's go. AMC is up 93 cents. Um, 23andMe, 906. Fifth wall up 29 cents to 1240. Vector up 15. Uh, Navsite up a penny to 999. Sextero down 41 cents. 837 is what I have it there. Uh, IBM Breaking Hearts down 51 cents. What a morning. Uh, always an entertaining start to the day, isn't it? Uh, kind of wondering what's going on here. Um, uh, Uncle Bruce, my sarcasm detector is always functioning at its best. <laughs> Ah, let's hope for some big moves. Uh, Two million so far, less than 10 minutes into the day. Yowza. Yep, there you go. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the rise in games that leads me to believe we'll have a dip real soon. Um, I need a rip on these 23 Me's. All my January calls are still in the red. There you go. So far, under serious sell pressure, it is now 1686. Uh, still showing a 15 cent gain, but it's been higher. 16.85 last trade uh, took a real shot down here uh, in a hurry uh, in like five six minutes for sure. Um, let's see, uh, let's see. I have no dates on this, Dave. I don't know. As soon as I know, you'll know. Uh, so far, it could be underselling pressure from people breaking even. Well, maybe could pop up after. It could. Uh, I could certainly turn around. 16.88, 16.89 popping right now. Uh, very much so. Um, GameStop, 153.56. ATIP at 440, up a couple of pennies. So uh, AMC at 3330, uh, 33.20, up 50 cents. Uh, Matterport still down 16 cents. 23Me now at 902. A volume on 23Me, 219,900 is the volume on 23Me this morning. Fifth wall holding a 29 cent gain and Vector up 14 cents. Going to become Rocket Lap and... Uh, that is coming up um, in, uh, what do we got now? 11 days. Uh, so we're getting closer to that one as well. Go, man, go. We're up a dime on ATIP now. Um, it's now 448, so it's definitely getting better. Um, 1690 on your SoFi, getting stronger now. Uh, what else? Uh, is anyone surprised? Uh, it, it is, it'll, do, it'll do this. Uh, it has to consolidate itself. 1695 now, 1699. It's going to go through 17 again. Um, you'll get a little sell off, a little pullback, and maybe another rally, and then uh, and then off she goes again. Up two steps, down one, maybe. That's what we might be seeing on SoFi for the next little while. We'll we'll figure it out. Up a dime on ATIP. Up 71 on AMC. Uh, we're up 335 on Robinhood. We're up 36 cents on 23 and Me. We got some SPACs moving up here today. Happy to see it. Uh, the Dow down 137. There's no help from the Dow today. Down 10 on NASDAQ, down 15 on NASDAQ. On NASDAQ. S&P's down, NASDAQ's down, Dow's down. And our, a bunch of our SPACs are higher this morning. Funny how that works. Uh, yes, uh, 154.50 on GameStop. It's coming on again, it looks like, 1698, 1695 on SoFi right now. Interestingly, volume on SoFi now, 2.69 million. Yes, there is buying coming in on SoFi. And I wonder, um, if are the days numbered that the shares are going to be under 20? Uh, are the days really numbered now as the SoFi is about to break back over 20 again? We're just, I think we're setting up for it. That's just my personal opinion. There's 17 right now. Just hit it. Back to 17. Um, all right. Go, stocks, go. Let's get 23 and me over 10 again. Let's get Matterport up to 18. Let's get the ATIP over 6. Let's get GameStop over 165. How about SoFi at 22 to 24? How about that? I can handle that action. I uh, think you guys deserve it. Uh, you've been very patient and uh, hanging in here through all these uh, crazy trades. Uh, we have 312, th 312 thumbs ups. Thank you, everybody. For supporting this channel with some thumbs ups, I appreciate the the, the shy, sign of support. Uh, very kind of you. Um, yeah, we've got uh, not much else. Uh, yeah, interesting. Got some junk mail coming into my junk mail. Oh man, do I ever get junk mail? Oh my gosh. 
uh, checking for updates there. Uh, thank you all for popping in here. Uh, fantastic. Good batch of people here watching the show to start the show off. Fabulous. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel, by the way. And uh, and I don't know if you noticed, I actually did a video on, uh, I think it was Friday night, on my other channel, Traveling with Bruce. I haven't done a video on that channel for like four months. That video has had over 35,000 views. It's quite amazing. It was a tragic story, unfortunately. It was a plane crash in Alaska with five passengers on board from a Hall of America ship. But uh, it's a sad story. But put that video out there and all of a sudden that channel is just lit up unbelievable uh funny how that goes uh, but it's sad news thank you all of you for being here let's see what's going on here um uh, let's see uh i don't know uh watching watching uh watching what's happening here mtr matterport 1505 down uh, 17 cents unfortunately uh we've got uh 1697 1698 on sofi we got GameStop 153.70 up 193. We have ATIP up a dime at 448. Uh, AMC up 54 cents. And we got a, a 23 me climbing again to 907 uh, coming back up again. So, uh, yeah, okay. Interesting, uh, interesting uh, patterns. Uh, yeah, uh, IBM down 50 cents, breaking all our hearts. Uh, the usual pattern there. Mm. GameStop. Come on, GameStop. High of the day, 155.48. Low, 157.71. Trading in just sh just short of a five dollar range, 153.45 up a dollar 68 on GameStop. Mm. Okay, 17.04 so far. Just popped through. 17.07 just popped up again. It's coming on, gangbusters. Coming on hard. So far, climbing quickly. Very good. Volume got to be coming up to 3 million now. 2.96. Yeah. Just about 3 million shares in 16 minutes on SoFi. 1708 now. Not going to keep this stock down with this kind of buying interest here. Uh, very good move here. Robinhood up 437 to 5938. Amazing. Amazing pricing. The Dow is only down 65 points. It's surging right now. Coming on. S&P down nine. Nasdaq's only down one half a point here. We're about to go positive on Nasdaq as the market is improving. 450 on ATIP up 12 cents, getting stronger. Uh, get through that 450 level. Uh, maybe we can see some movement towards five here. This is good news this morning. ATIP making moves out with the CEO on the search for a new one. And I like the sound of this. A 1710 on SoFi just popped again high of the day on sofi 1732 that was right on the opening and we're now pushing 1710 we're coming back towards that high level on the day over 3 million traded here on your sofi shares very very good uh, 45 cent gain on 23 and me we're at 916 on 23 and me how about that uh, any news on future classes this weekend, I will be on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we will release the titles of our classes later on uh, tonight, probably. Um, get ready, sponsor members. You'll have first dibs to come on in uh, for the live show Saturday and Sunday. Live classes. I tried to sell a put, a uh, $15 put on SoFi for August 27th. TD wouldn't let me. Said I didn't have enough funds. I thought I only needed 100 shares. Uh, they they might be asking you to hold enough cash to buy 100 shares at uh, 15. So in other words, 1,500 in cash on hand. Um, if you have a margin account, you might be uh, allowed to do it for much less. Um, you might only need like $500 or something like that, not 1,500. But uh, you have to look into that. I don't know your situation. Each platform is different on how they operate this. Uh, so there you have it. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, you need fifteen hundred as collateral. Uh, Liz, I suddenly own six Terra warrants too, and that's a good thing. Uh, that's a good thing that you own those. Twenty three and Me nine seventeen up forty seven cents on twenty three and Me on three hundred thousand. This is the high of the day now nineteen nine twenty on twenty three and Me. We just patched uh, just past that level or hit that level. 17, 1702 on SoFi, 
Uh, GameStop 153.95, looking to hit 154. We're up a dime on ATIP. Pop that around. We're up 15 cents on ATIP. We just jumped to 453 on ATIP. Volume now 122,000. This is excellent uh, to see such little volume bust through the 450 resistance level like a hot knife through soft butter. Good stuff on ATIP. It's going higher as I suspected it would. 1509 on Matterport down 13 cents. 918 to 920 on 23 and Me. 1247 now on Fifth Wall up 36 cents. Going stronger here. Vector up a nickel and nav site unchanged at 998. We're still down 28 cents on 66 Terra, but it has improved from 825 to 850 now. That's better. 5854 on Robinhood holding a 353 gain. So far, 17 to 1701 as we speak. 15440. GameStop just broke 154 here like nothing. We're up 263. The market is definitely improving. The Dow is still down though, 82, 88 points. S&P down five. Nasdaq is up five. That is the turn there. Interesting turn on that one. Up 49 cents on 23andMe. 919. Up uh, 11 cents on ATIP. 449 to 450. SoFi 1702. We've got green here on a bunch of our stocks. Right on. Uh, Liz, free money. They print big ones. Six stairs, 1150. Um, why do we have 900 viewers but only 345 thumbs ups? Well, people are thinking about giving me a thumbs up, so I'm hoping they're considering that now is the moment to strike. Help Bruce out, get the 500 thumbs ups right now. Hit that thumbs up button for me, people. Give this channel a bit of momentum, and let's get people following the uh, upside on SoFi, GameStop, ATIP, AMC. 23andMe, Robinhood. Let's follow the upside market by hitting this channel with some thumbs up. There it is, 410 now. They just, boom, we just came in here at 410 thumbs up. Hit the thumbs ups and we will tell the world what is happening with these stocks and why they should be following this channel. Fifth wall up 36 cents. Come on, maybe we can make IBM go up. It's still down 86 cents, breaking all our hearts. We'll do the best we can. 923 on 23andMe, kids. We're up 57 cents, 927. We're popping again on 23 and me. We're on the way. 437 thumbs ups. We're on the way there too. The higher the thumbs ups, the more people who come here, the more people who come here, they find out what's happening with these stocks, the more they want to buy these stocks. The richer you get, uh, 443 thumbs up. We're going to have 500 thumbs ups here in a minute. It's going to happen. It's so good. Thank you, all of you guys. 448 thumbs up. Awesome sauce. Got to love this. There it is, 449. We're going to hit 450 now. One, two, three, four, five. Bingo, 452 on the thumbs ups. Look at that. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. I'm the only YouTuber that begs like this for thumbs ups, but I need them. I need them. I want them. I got to have them. 154, 53 on GameStop. Come on, GameStop. 50 cents away from a new high of the day. Uh, it's it's coming on. It definitely is coming on. Let's hope for some good moves on GameStop today. Well, interesting morning to say the least, isn't it, kids? Um, wow, 928 now on 23 me up 59 cents. Kind of neat. I kind of kind of like seeing that kind of upward movement on that stock. It's been a while. All right. Uh, yeah. It's unfortunately, down 123 on the Dow again. We had that dip up, uh, run up, and now dip back down 123, down seven on S and P, but Nasdaq still up six points. Oil down $2 a barrel right now. That's what we got going on this wild and wacky market, you guys. 155.48, new high on GameStop. A new high right now on the GameStop. Go, GameStop, go. Uh, that's what I want to say about that. Yes, uh, very interesting moves on some of our stocks today. Uh, AMC down 13 cents. Um, let's see here. Uh, 23 me 9.29 up 6.7 percent, up 59 59 cents. Yes, come on, we like it. We like it a lot. Uh, yes, please go higher. Indeed. Okay. 159.29 now. 155.29 on GameStop. Up 350 a share, and so far 117 again to 1692 just to tease us. 
constantly tease us about what it is and is not doing. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, it's just it's just the way it is. Thank you, one well, and thank you all. Uh, 491 thumbs ups. We're nine away from 500 thumbs ups. Thank you so much for getting me to 500 this quickly already today. I do appreciate this. We're going to hit 500 thumbs ups in seconds, mere seconds. We got 491 now, and I think more are coming in here to get us to 500. There we go. A couple more just came through. 494, six left. Six more. We got 500. Oh, we only need three now. 497 on the thumbs ups. Thank you guys. Here it is. 501. You guys doing it for me every time. You guys are just the best. I appreciate this. Fan. Fantastic. All righty. What else is going on? Um, let's see. Uh, what is happening? Uh, th uh, up 350 on 240,000 trades. GameStop, baby. Uh, let's go. Uh, <laughs> Liz, thanks, everybody. I got 34 warrants on, on that six there. They're 174. Fantastic. Uh, there you go. I was watching. Uh, I was watching a movie last night. Uh, Larry Crown with uh, Tom Hanks and Julia Roberts. Uh, spectacular. I love, <laughs> I love that comment. The one-liner. Spectacular. Uh, great movie. A lot of fun. Larry Crown. Uh, what is it? Lance Corona. They, the gal calls him Lance Corona. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. Love Tom Hanks. Uh, always good. I watched a couple of movies yesterday. I really relaxed yesterday. I watched The Graduate. Uh, with Dustin Hoffman and Ang and Bancroft, uh, I, I love watching these older movies and then going to Google and then looking up the history of these movies. I love reading the notes on these while I'm watching them. And I watched Moneyball yesterday with Brad Pitt. Love that movie, Moneyball, fantastic. Uh, yeah, just uh, just uh, chillaxing. I was watching a documentary on Gary Shandling, a two part series. I try to remember where I watched it. I was at HBO, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. A, it was done a couple of years ago on Gary Shandling, and uh, but what an interesting career! Amazing, amazing, uh, you know what this guy went through through his lifetime. Uh, but I found that really interesting. Nine thirty nine on twenty three and Me kids. Nine thirty nine now. You're up sixty nine cents on twenty three and Me. You gotta love this. Uh, this is good stuff. AMC's up now fifty cents again. ATIP is up uh, four cents. GameStop up seven dollars, one fifty-eight eighty-six. How do you like that? We're going for one fifty-nine on GameStop, seventeen oh six on SoFi. We're climbing again, fifty-seven thirty-nine on Robinhood, up two bucks. Wow, what a nice morning here. We got some movement on some of our fun stocks here. GameStop, what's going on on GameStop? One people wants to know one fifty-eight, one fifty-eight sixty-nine, one fifty-eight ninety-five. Yay! Uh, we're going higher, baby. We got five hundred thumbs up before Jen woke up. How about that? Um, M E. Hits uh, 940, uh, 934, go, baby, Emmy, go. Uh, you know, I saw The Graduate, too. I'd seen parts of it before, kind of neat, fun, funny film, liked it. My wife thought it was gross. <laughs> well, I tell you, I love watching that movie just because it's a time it's a time uh, piece. I mean, 1967, I mean, I really, I just found the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the sets and, and the fashion, I, I just love it. It reminds me of when I was 12, 13. I was, I was just a 12-year-old you know, when that movie came out. I remember the world of 1967. I, I remember it. Um, and to see this, it, it's, it's, it's a time warp uh, to, to, to see that. But, yeah, uh, Dustin Hoffman, unbelievable. Apparently, Dustin Hoffman finished the movie. He got paid 20000 to make this movie. It was his first big role. He got paid twenty grand uh, after taxes and, and and living out in California, getting back to New York. He had four thousand bucks left over. Within a year, he was broke. He had no he had no work. He had no other work going on, and he was on unemployment. He was getting fifty five dollars every two weeks from the state of New York on a, on unemployment because he he ran out of work. And then he got Midnight Cowboy. He got the role for Midnight Cowboy, and that movie won be the Best uh, Picture Oscar. And from then on, Mr. Hoffman made a salary. That was commensurate with his box office power because he was a box office force for a while, for quite a while. And he's done rather well, to say the least. Fascinating, fascinating movie. And I love the, I love reading this sort of stuff, the history of this stuff. Loved it. Um, movie trivia. Love that kind of stuff. Anyway, yeah, let's go. Uh, GameStop, we're back in the green. You're 158.97 up 720 on GameStop. 1707 on your SoFi, we're up 36 cents. 
ATIP up three cents. Uh, AMC up 56. Matterport only down four cents. 1518 coming back. 934 on 23 and me up 57 cents now. Uh, fifth wall up 36 cents to 12. 47. They've announced their um, merger date, August 23rd. Two weeks, it's going to happen for fifth wall. Uh, Vector up 12 and Nafsite up uh, down one penny at the moment. Sixter down 32 cents. IBM breaking hearts down 83 cents. The Dow down 118 points. We got S&P down seven and Nasdaq up eight. All righty, John Van, butta, butta, 159, baby. We're going for butta here. GameStop only 300,000 volume. Again, that's a sign. There's no selling here. Uh, it would take very little for us to move it. Uh, SoFi, yep, 1706, going higher. Uh, very good, kids. Uh, love this uh, upward movement. 931 on 23 and me, up 61 cents again. Uh, <laughs> uh, the original MILF hunter, or was it the other way around? Uh, was she hunting him? Uh, yeah, GameStop popping. Uh, 158.53. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, baby. I love the favorite stock games up today. It's been a while since I've seen a $1,000 day. Come on, baby. Let's go. Um, what else is happening here? <laughs> here we go. I'm only down 15% of my portfolio now. This is making my pants fit tight. Uh, let's see. I highly recommend the Seinfeld Comedian's Car Coffee with the Cars. Yeah, Shandling filmed out a month. Yes, that I've watched that. I've watched that ten times. I've seen that. Uh, I I love watching it. Uh, he and he and Jerry were so close. Uh, yeah, I really, really, I'm so, I'm so grateful that Jerry got it got it done and he got it out there um, for us to enjoy. Uh, just so great he did that. I love that series. I just, I just love that series uh, that Jerry does. GameStop shooting up. Let's hope so. Keep going. Come on, baby. It's been six weeks since I've had a day like this. I got one for you. One word for you, Bruce. Plastics. <laughs> uh, Norman fell as the landlord. Uh, he was hilarious. Oh man. No news on ME on um, financials are about to be released and the stocks approved moving up this. Already, very interesting. Uh, we're only down four cents on Matterport. Uh, interestingly enough, ATIP fired their CEO. Uh, they're on a search for a new CEO. The stock's going to go higher now. Uh, One fifty-eight oh three on GameStop, up six bucks, up six twenty a share. Uh, SoFi sixteen ninety-nine, up twenty-eight cents. Go figure. Uh, let's see, big week for Matterport and SoFi. Uh, GameStop, GameStop, GameStop. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Oh man! If I had the time, I hear you, free thinker. Uh, I know I need. I don't have the time uh, just to watch it all. I love term. Oh, I love this movie. Yeah, eat, bite to eat, eat to bite, bite to eat, eat to bite, bite to eat, eat to bite. I love Terminal. Uh, great movie. Uh, six months ago, GameStop jumps a hundred, and we were all disappointed because it wasn't enough. Today, it jumps six bucks. We couldn't be happier. <laughs> We've been so held back. It's time. Uh, the stock was 161 a week Friday ago. So, yeah, we got some catching up to do here. There you are. There you are. Um, a free thinker, Mick Jones, British. There are dozens of us. Uh, the best movie ever, Forrest Gump. Fight me. I oh, love Forrest Gump. Loved, uh, loved uh, Saving Private Ryan. Um, and, uh, oh, man. Mr. Hanks, uh, unbelievable uh, uh, career, just just incredible, just incredible. Uh, yeah, uh, good stuff, good stuff. We're up eight cents on ATIP. Come on, let's go. Seventeen oh two, sixteen ninety seven, seventeen dollars. So far, all over the place, just jumping back and forth and back and forth. Mm. Uh, what can I say? Uh, yep, it is what it is. Uh, Twenty three and me up thirty six cents to. Uh, uh, fifth wall, sorry, tw fifth wall acquisition up 36 cents at uh, 1247 now. Vector up 18 cents to 1030. That's looking better too. That is coming. Uh, Navsite unchanged at 998. Sextera down 31 cents to 847. It was as low as 825. IBM still breaking hearts down 82 cents at the moment. And there you have it. Microsoft down 34 cents. Apple up nine. Tesla up $16 to 17, uh, $715. A Bed Bath Beyond up six cents. Uh, Blackberry up seven cents. They've turned around a tad. Uh, the Royal still getting hit. Royal Caribbean 
down 205 a share to 76.87 uh, and should go lower. Norwegian down 89 cents to 24 bucks. Carnival down 72 cents to 22.38. Amazon down 14.94 and Facebook down at dollar 78. Google down 374. So we have some we have some losses on some of the fangs at the moment, uh, but elsewhere. Looking interesting here, uh, 159.34 on GameStop, uh, 159.34. The high of the day on GameStop has been, let me see if I can get this to splice up here, 159.35. We're right there. We're right there. We're at the high of the day right now on GameStop, 159.35 right now on GameStop. This is the high of the day. Uh, 400,000 volume, nothing much, but we're there. 159. Come on, GameStop. Let's take a shot even more. Please do. That would be lovely. Um, no selling coming in here. It's a rather quiet on that front. Okay. 159.11. 17.04 on SoFi. Uh, and... Um, and 9.26 on 23 and me. There you go. All righty. <laughs> uh, saving, shaving Ryan's privates. No one ever says Bachelor Party is our favorite movie of all time. The Green Mile. How about Big? That was a great movie. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Don't forget Wilson, first Emmy Award winning volleyball, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and oh man. So if I going back and forth, my options keep climbing. That's a good sign. That's a sign that the, the market's anticipating a run here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go. Um, uh, let's go, let's go. Tom Tom Wanks and Castaway when he loses Wilson. Wilson! Oh, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Um, let's see what else we have here. Come on, you guys. Let's go, markets. Bring it on. Bring it on. 17.04 on SoFi right now. Okay. And 9.26 on 23 and me up 56 cents. Yep, up a dime on ATIP right here. Okay. All right. Dow's still down 107 points at this moment. And uh, we're still talking about uh, China. Uh, there's a possible economic slowdown happening there. I think there really is an economic slowdown happening there. And um, uh, let's go. Uh, December 2022 calls on ATIP, or should I buy shares? Um, if you can afford to buy the shares, buy the shares. Uh, 448. Uh, this is cheap, cheap paper. Um, you know, a, a $1 pop from here is is a uh, 20 plus percent gain on your money this is serious money no expiry limits on stock at this price i like it um so thomas uh, if you can pick up stock pick up stock here uh so far 1702 up 31 cents uh and 926 on 23 and me matterport 15 13 down nine yeah uh yeah, the China thing is is uh, um, a concern. Uh, China junk bonds, a concern. Um, what will happen with the Winter Olympics now? They're in focus uh, the next few months, which should be most interesting. Will there be boycotts? Uh, how will that work? Um, and my Matterport and SoFi calls are pretty good, says Anti-PC. Uh, that's telling me there's money coming in there. Uh, let's see, let's see. I had to get out of my ten dollar, my eight twenty ten dollar Emmy calls, waiting for their earnings release. See what happens. Uh, and the uh, Dave is not uh, not a big fan of China either. Um, that's where we're at. Um, ATIP four fifty again, up twelve cents. ATIP volume today two hundred thirty eight thousand, the high of four fifty eight this morning. 
So we're climbing back now to 450 on ATIP. Uh, okay. And uh, 158.85 on GameStop. The high today, 159.35. We're 45 cents away from the high today on GameStop. Up 7.13 a share. We are holding this gain, and I think the stock wants to go higher this morning. Looking good. All righty. Um, Mm, 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 mm. Okay. 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 Oil still down a dollar ninety. Uh, sixty six thirty eight. I did notice that um, a former SPAC, uh, DraftKings, has made an all stock takeover offer for, um, I believe it's Golden Nugget uh, ga Gaming, something like that. Let me see if I. Do I have here's DraftKings here fifty one sixty nine on the stock up a dime, and um, uh, they are going to they're going to acquire Golden Nugget Online Gambling. Uh, that is a stock takeover. It's a one and a half billion dollar deal, and uh, uh, this just solidifies the legitimacy of DraftKings long term. They, they, these guys are are under attack by a short seller. Not going to stop them. Short sellers on the wrong side of this trade. I, I like this uh, this idea of how um, 23andMe, uh, sorry, how how um, DraftKings has been able to uh, go from a SPAC. Uh, they took, the, of course, DraftKings bought, took over a SPAC, vended it in, and now been raising money and growing out. By the way, 160.74 on GameStop. Uh, that's a really good sign on on DraftKings. I like to see this. This is this is one of those. This is a, a stock that the guys on CNBC don't talk about. They don't refer to it as a SPAC. They don't ever mention the fact that this was once a SPAC. And so they don't give the credit to the SPAC, you see. 161 on GameStop, going through 161 now. Going up to 162 and more. We're at a high, we're now back to where we were a week ago Friday and before. So that is a good sign. 162.48 on GameStop, definitely improving here, uh, definitely getting better. I don't have a reason why. I don't have a. I don't have a news announcement. I don't have a. I don't see anything that's that's been released that I'm aware of. It is just moving higher. One sixty three forty nine right now. One sixty three sixty on GameStop up eleven dollars on GME. Fab you lust. I'm very happy to see the upward movement. I know a lot of you have been picking off this stock now in the last few weeks. You've been buying up bargains. And you're now being rewarded for this. Uh, very, very good. Uh, love it. Um, very good. Yeah, through 160 like butter and beyond. We're going. Zzz, it's what it's all about. 163, uh, 46 right now. Uh, hit a high 163 already. Uh, let me get another update in here. 163.76 was the high. 162.69 right now. ATIPCO stepping up. We know, and that's good, 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 good. It's going higher because it should be higher. That's right. Uh, looking good. SoFi 1694, Robinhood 5710. Good morning, Miss Jen. Should I tell them? Should I tell them? It's a big day today. Big day today, Miss Miss Jen. It's her birthday. It's Miss Jennifer's birthday. It's Auntie Jen has a birthday today. We're not telling you the age. Um, let's just say this: she looks like she's 42 years old because you know you, you, she looked just like Jennifer Aniston. You know that. Uh, yes, Ryan Cohen tweeted Saturday. Maybe that's the thing. I don't know. 163.30, 163.49. We're going higher on GameStop, I'm going up for an $11 gain and more right now on your GameStop shares, kids. Going higher. Miss Jen's birthday. Yep. And here come the announcements. Here come the happy birthdays. Happy birthday to Miss Jen from from uh, uh, Cloak, um, Harry uh, uh, Harry Bergman. Happy uh, run GameStop run. Zach, happy birthday, Jen. John Van, happy birthday, Jen. Uh, it's my birthday too, says Smoke Dog. Um, False says happy birthday. Eddie, happy birthday. Jennifer is celebrating with noisemakers. Theodi, happy twenty second birthday, Jen. Uh, Nelson, happy birthday. Um, uh, SVT, happy 35th. Uh, make it happen. Happy birthday. Liz, happy birthday. Uh, Evan is celebrating. Uh, happy Michael. Birthday on this green morning. Oh, it's green. All right. It's green. Great. GameStop, 163.16. Happy you're not birthday. Even wearing your green shirt. Didn't have to. It's, I, I got that in reserve. 
Uh, see, how about that? Awesome. Uh, yes. Uh, what can I say? Happy 29th birthday, says Nicholas. <laughs> Jen is timeless, says KB. Happy birthday, Andy Jen from Nephew Nick. Happy birthday, Jen from Moose's Valley. Um, Jillian Anderson and Anna Kendrick share this day with me. Ah, see, uh, two, okay. two very attractive uh, and wonderful actresses. Oh, I want to grow up to be Jillian Anderson. That's right. She does. She does. She does. Um, cool bean stuff, man. Cool bean stuff. Uh, yeah. ATIP new CFO announced. Jen Frommer. Ah, uh, there you go. Um, uh, uh, Roach on a tree says, "Happy birthday to my favorite forearm." <laughs> no. uh, a smoke. Doesn't look a day older than it did yesterday. Yeah, just yeah. Just spotty. 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 I'm an ocelot. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke Dog says, uh, me and Jen share, share the same birthday, and we're both 40 today, laughing out loud. That's um, right. Nitten saying, happy birthday. John Anderson, have an awesome birthday, Jen. Shaky Fry, what? Happy birthday, Uncle Jen. Wally's World, happy birthday, Jen. yippee ki -yay. happy birthday, Auntie Jen, forever 29 years old. If what he should have said is what he should have said. Uh, Michael, uh, uh, happy birthday. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Uh Mama Babe, happy birthday, Auntie Jen. Um, and uh, Cheddar Stacks, just in time, I guess. Happy birthday, Jen. And hello, Bruce, back at work after the Sagamore Resort stay. Right on. Jordan, happy birthday. Ooh. Jordan Brown, a British shilling. Happy birthday, Auntie Jen. John Van, we're all going to get laid. Uh, Ferrigan, go, Shorty. <laughs> it's your birthday. Daniel, happy nat natal, natal anniversary, Miss Jen. Natal, N-A-T-A-L, Natal. Natal. From, from Daniel. Uh, going postal, uh, fellow Leo. I knew I liked her. Um, and Roach on a Treat, X Files marathon today. Oh, mm. sex education. Uh, She's so good in sex education. Oh yeah. Jillian Anderson. Oh, Jillian Anderson's just brilliant in that. Oh, yeah. that's a, such a hilarious show. And she so was Margaret much. Thatcher. She was. Yeah. She's great. She was awesome yeah. in The Crown. Oh gosh, she She's was great. awesome. Yes, indeed. Oh, Auntie Jeff. Oh. So is it the, the classic this morning? Oh, I'm thinking. Is it a Monday classic? I'm thinking for sure. It's okay. that jelly bagel, uh, well toasted for sure. Everything's uh, green today. I'd make it for you, but then you'd have to sit here and talk to them. And you don't want to do that. I could do like puppet moves. Have puppets and puppets. <laughs> what is it? The, the dog? You know? <laughs> <laughs> You could do that. I'm sure we could just watch the ratings go like this. No, no, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wally's World wants me to sing happy birthday to you. Yeah. I don't see any donations, Wally. Nice and hot. I could do it like Yoko Ono. Oh, God. <laughs> oh no. On that note, I'll go make a picture. There we go. She's out of here. Uh, that worked. Um, what can I say? Uh, <laughs> Uh, damn it, Jim says, Bruce, get up and make Jen a damn bagel for her birthday. Quit sitting around. There you go. Happy birthday, Jen, from Auntie PC. A happy birthday from Boston, uh, Nate says. Happy birthday from Lee. Um, he still has to make a bagel. Uh, she's still making us a bagel. Yeah, she is. Uh, helping me out here. Uh, Joanne, happy birthday, Jen. What uh, time will Brad pick you up from Tim Hortons? <laughs> ah, that's right. Uh, yeah, we were, we were watching her boyfriend yesterday, Moneyball. He does, he does good work, that guy. Oh, my, oh, my. Um, I'm here, says Carter Cole. Welcome, Carter. I already got my birthday coffee from Timmy. When? On the weekend, we went to Timmy's. I got my free coffee. That's true. She got a free coffee from Timmy's on, uh, I think it was Saturday we went. And uh, she got her birthday coffee for free already. Uh, John, a good woman, hard to find. She's going to make that bagel with love. Yep. Uh, I do love puppetry, says, damn it, Jim. <laughs> Get this lady a projector. <laughs> Bruce needs, Bruce gets more thumbs ups than Uncle. Jen gets more than Bruce. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Yoko, the anthem killer. Um, yep. Uh, happy birthday, Jen. Your hands only look 30. Uh, the rings would go up. Happy birthday from Berlin. Always gaming right on. Happy birthday, Jen, from Kev. Uh, oh my, what can I say? Uh, we'll get a SoFi dip for Auntie Jen. 1675, that's right. 1675 dip on uh, on uh, SoFi. GameStop, 160.02. Dropped $3. There's a little dip there. 
Uh, we'll see how this all works out. And it's oh gosh, I uh, can't read that. Love Moneyball. Uh, so if I doesn't want to go back through 17 right now. Um, and happy birthday, Jen. You're like Wilson from Home Improvement, except we only get to see your hands. And uh, will uh, will all donations to Jen today uh, be, be given to Jen as a birthday gift? Well, let, let me put it this way: all, all donations that come to this channel, <laughs> Jen, Jen generally spends it. Uh, so you know, I mean, come on, uh, who's getting who? Uh, man, oh man. Uh, SoFi 1682. It's now back up 11 cents. GameStop 160.38 up 8.61. Go GameStop. ATIP up 8 cents to 4.46. AMC holding an 83 cent gain. Matterport down 9.23. Me up 58 cents to 9.28. We got a 36 cent gain on fifth wall. We got Vector up 22. Uh, we got some green at least here and there. We'll take that for sure. Oh, darn right, we'll take that gain. Dow down 134, unfortunately, uh, down nine on S&P and up five on uh, on uh, Nasdaq. Happy birthday, Jen from the UK. This is Dr. Walter Bishop, and uh, uh, he is. I just recently came back from a trip to Fort Myers and Key West, Florida. I stopped at a spotlight right by a Tesla dealership, and I immediately thought of you, Uncle Bruce. Well, thank you, uh, GameStop. Come on, keep on going, Bruce. Canada opens its borders up today to the vaccine American. What time is dinner? I uh, can Uncle Bruce is a Tesla being delivered today with a big bow on the hood. Uh, you must not have a wife. Uh, free thinker says to Danielle. Uh, Bill, SEC later see the new rules to, re to restrict dark pool trading going into effect. We'll see how that works out. I, I took a look at the uh, Tesla website on uh, uh, yesterday for Canada and a Model S, a brand new Model S. They're talking next March for delivery. March of 2022 for delivery of a new Model S. Wow. And uh, the Model 3, uh, they say September, October. Yeah, they're saying like six, eight weeks, kind of, for delivery of one of those. But a Model S uh, is not available now until the new year, well into the new year. It's amazing. Amazing. Those computer parts, uh, chip shortages, you know. What are you going to do? Uh, interesting. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go. Uh, volume is slow, so not taking much selling pressure to push it down. Keep it all 17. Uh, my accounts are finally even. and been back in the bedroom. Crouch is getting a little more uncomfortable. Uh, right on. Look, hanging on there. Trying to get these markets up. 920 gain on GameStop to 160.97, 161.19 now. Um, uh, trying to go higher. And um, uh, U.S. job openings are topping 10 million job openings, new record high. How many job openings are there? Aren't enough workers to go around, and those workers who are working are commanding a better price. Uh, 1966 on SoFi down a nickel on the day. We are negative on SoFi today, which is surprising. GameStop 161.19, ATIP 448 up a dime, AMC up a buck, and they're 33.70 now. Um, 23 me up 58 cents, 928. Model Y is better for you. A cyber truck, you can pull an RV with it. Not until 2022. They delayed production of the truck. A uh, shout out to Dave D's and you see for a head out. See you this afternoon. Go so far, says going postal. Up 15 grand for the last week. The curse has been broken. Yay! A CPI lies. Oh, okay. Uh, 160.77 on uh, GameStop now. Uh, up nine bucks, uh, 160.87. Okay, all right. The Dow still down 130. S&P down eight. Nasdaq up nine, and oil down 233. That's what's going on here, kids. Uh, right here, right now. Um, uh, British shilling, uh, Remco. Yes, but could, but could he see over the steering wheel? I mean, I'm only four foot eight. You know, going to need a booster seat or something like that. Uh, we'll see what happens. Dave is saying, hey, good po going post. Have a good day today. Uh, 161 now on GameStop. Um, 1675 up four cents on SoFi. We touched the low of 1662 for a moment. We've had 5.58 million trade. And whatever shorter is trying to hurt SoFi, they don't seem to have much of an effect because it seems to bounce back pretty quickly. Uh, GameStop 161. Um, ATIP up a dime. 
90 a one dollar six cent gain on amc matterport is down nine cents 23 me now up 58 cents on the day to 928 <sighs> okay uh hopefully your options are going a little bit higher with some of these stocks and uh your portfolios are a little better looking and you're not in the red anymore because of all the averaging down you've done the Recovery is so much faster, hopefully. Uh, keep that going. Let's see what's going on. Uh, we got ATIP almost up a dime here. Yeah, uh, it is up a dime, 448. Looking good. Um, yeah, this this is old news. You know, same accused of corruption receiving. Yeah, I, I don't know about this. Um, and... Uh, I wish I'd gotten a lower strike on this ME call of mine, 9.25 of 55 cents. This Janet, Janet Yellen stuff has been talked about forever. She's uh, she's now been confirmed by the Senate twice. Uh, background vetted, like you can't believe, as legit as you get. Uh, sharp as a tack. Um, uh, she could make so much more money if she didn't work for the United States of America, but, you know, she's doing what she's doing. Uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, what is happening? What's happening? Hmm? No, no, I'm good. No, I'm good. Thank you. Got a nappy. We're good. Oh, here comes the bagel. Oh, my God. Thank you. The jelly bagel has arrived. Life is good here in Creston. We got rain yesterday. We got lots of rain yesterday. And today's air quality is like, it's normal. It, it's good. We can see the mountains. It's a green, happy face. Ha at least around here. It's only 49 on the scale. Yeah, that's good. Huh? I know, I can't remember the last time. You can see the we sky and everything. We can see the mountain sky and clouds. And it got cold last night. It got cool. We had all the windows. It was in the 50s. It's lovely. I had to wear a sweatshirt to bed last night. That's like winter time. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, yep, yep, yep. What can I say? Uh, let's go. Uh, Uncle Bruce, now the border is open. Someone could come drive your buy, come buy your your uh, car, <laughs> come buy your card collection. Someone could come up there and buy your card collection. Of course, not me. I don't drive life alone. That's true. Americans can now come up here, pick up my card collection, and take it back south. Pick up my comics and my cards. Off you go. Sure. Uh, there you have it. Uh, <laughs> uh, cheers to all of you. Got a bagel on the go here. Oh, yes. The jelly bagel. This is so good. Uh, we have Robin Hood up 214. SoFi up 17 cents to 16.88. GameStop up 160.90. ATAIP 450 up 12 cents. AMC up a dollar 16 now. Dollar 30 to 34 dollars. We're up 17 on ATIP. We just jumped to 455. I'm just holding my bagel. Mar markets are moving up. Fantastic. 1684 and so far. Let's go markets. Hmm hmm hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sixteen eighty one on SoFi. What four fifty five on ATIP? Let's go markets to the moon, baby. It's interesting to see ten million job openings in America. Wow. We got rain buckets of it yesterday, just buckets. Um, we had like two days of showers and a good downpour yesterday. Um, there were 249 fires in the province <clears throat> a couple of days ago, hopefully. This this weather is you know not just local we're, we're hoping but there's another um, heat wave coming this week unfortunately we're gonna be back to 99 in a couple of days so you know what are you gonna do 
Mm. Working is so 2019. There you go. <laughs> 143 on the down dip for the big Dow. Down 0.4%. Now you're talking. Hmm. So good. Hmm. I'm stuck during jury, jury duty trial the past two weeks. The judge collected our phones every morning. What did I miss? Happy birthday, Jim. Hello, W. Walters. Yuck. Yeah. ATIP through 450 like a hot knife through cold butter or stiff butter. Going higher. Go, baby, go. 452 at 14 cents. Let's roll. Hmm. Mm. After the 23rd of this month, all my SPACs will be grown-ups because fifth wall will be the last one to shift over now. So when you're letting us in on some new ones uh, for us to pin our hopes and dreams to, I'll keep you posted, but it's got to be the right thing, the right, right deal. Otherwise, no can do. Mm. So good. Unfortunately, the down down one fifty three. But you're gonna give me a. Are you gonna start on a bad day? Fine. Give me a bad day to start the week. That's okay. I don't think there's any serious push behind this downdrift. Oh man, this is so good. The more I eat the bagel, the lower GameStop goes. 158.95. They're picking on it. I mean, come on. There you go. Dr. Walter Bishop. Hey, Uncle Bruce Wilde, it's quiet. I got a new job in September. Pardon me. With a pay raise. Thanks for encouraging us to demand more from our employers. You've helped me through some dark days during the last year. That's good stuff, man. This is great. Way to go, Doc, from British Stone. Way to go. Four fifty four on ATRP. Mm. Has not. Coming soon. Atta boy. Yeah. 
Congrats, Doc, from everybody. Matterport down four cents, fifteen eighteen. He could be the new doctor in Doctor Who. We have a we have Doctor uh, Doctor Walter uh, Doctor Walter Bishop got a big raise oh, uh, on his gig, and, and he's, he's he's thanking me for giving him inspiration, and everyone's congratulating him. Someone's asking him, "Are you the the new doctor in the Doctor Who series?" <laughs> I'm sure every one of those people have been real. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. Absolutely. Mark is saying, Joe, Matterport, financials, two days from now, the 11th. You can tell the weather's nicer because all the neighborhood cats are out about the past year's the street. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't out when the weather was bad. <laughs> These are nicknames we give cats. <laughs> His belly is dragging. He is the biggest cat. Mm -hmm. And slow. <laughs> well fed. Yeah. Well fed. Too well fed. There's ours sitting in the middle of the street. <laughs> oh boy finger looking good let me tell you so good concord grape jelly on a bagel from costco oh man Mm. Who told Sophia to drop? Sixteen sixty-five down six cents. I didn't tell it to go down. <laughs> mm. Welcome one, welcome all to the to the telecast here. Live stock markets with Bruce in plain English. What's going on? In plain English, we're down 120 on the Dow. We were down 150 or something. We're down that 120. Uh, S and P down six. Nasdaq's up 28. So there's definitely a difference here um, uh, between one one index and the others. Um, <laughs> My jokes aren't stopping today. He says, "I'm sorry." Uh, we're at one fifty-eight ninety now on GameStop, up seven thirteen on the day. Back to one fifty-nine. We just broke one fifty-nine. Um, ATIP four fifty-two now. We're up fourteen cents. We got Matterport down six cents. We have twenty-three knee up fifty now to nine twenty. Six sixty-nine on SoFi down two. Volume on SoFi now is uh, six point two million. Robinhood up a buck ninety to fifty six ninety one. GameStop one fifty seven ninety one. Volume of eight hundred twenty thousand. We have no news. It's just it's just improving. Um, ATIP volume three hundred eighty three thousand. That's that's really interesting how light that is. Mm, okay. AMC is up sixty two cents to thirty three thirty two on volume of twenty one million. Not really taking a big shot here, even after another weekend of business. Um, 
the news just is not coming out for AMC shareholders to want to really jump after the stock. It's um, it's not getting that kind of uh, upward movement at this point. Um, fifth wall is up 32 cents to 12.43. Vector up 16 to 10.28. Navsite down a penny. Sextera down 22 to 8.56. Um, SMH, uh, the ETF, uh, Vanek Vectors uh, computer chips, up 15 cents. Home Depot down a buck 49. IBM down a dollar 20. Uh, Nasdaq, uh, Dow down 118. Uh, Microsoft up three cents. Apple up 20 cents. Tesla up 13. There's your, there's your big chunk of your uh, Nasdaq 100. Rook Ribbon down 288 now to 76.04. Amazon is up five bucks. And Google's up fifty-six dollars, uh, fifty-six cents, I should say. So this is helping the Nasdaq higher. Facebook down forty-one cents. Uh, Nvidia up twenty-four cents. Moderna up thirty-four dollars to four forty-eight, and Intel up twelve cents, and uh, and uh, Mi Micron down a dollar fifty-nine. So that's where where these guys are at here. Um, one uh, fifty six ninety eight on Robinhood up a dollar ninety seven. Still on eight cents on SoFi sixteen sixty three. The low was sixteen fifty six on the day. Uh, sixteen sixty five now down six cents on six point four million shares traded uh, so far. All right. Wall Street Journal, AMC article, people are heading back to the movies, but it's low numbers, and the second COVID may kill that. That's another concern about AMC. Uh, if the second wave is nasty, there may be certain cities and states where AMC does well, but certain states and cities where it does not do well, and AMC needs to do well across the board. All 100%, they have to have everything running, and... Um, this is uh, the scenario we're in here. Um, it's um, there's all kinds of pressures on on AMC, and and this is one of them, one of many. Mm. Okay. ATIP up thirteen cents to four fifty one. GameStop one fifty eight twenty one up six forty four. High today, 163.82. So we've been 560 higher than this uh, today. 16.67 now on SoFi, down only 4 cents on the day. All right. Uh, would you go out to uh, October on selling $15 SoFi puts? I have a 12.50 uh, call already for the same date. Yeah, I, I would go out. I'd go October. To write fifteen dollar puts on SoFi, yeah, you can get a, you can get the book value plus some premium. You know that that you betcha. Now you know that can get you maybe I don't know I don't know what you can get on those, but uh, that might be uh, not not a bad play. Um, let's see if I can get this to work over here on my little machine. Um, October fifteen puts, you say. See if I can get my machine to calm down. It just it's so twitchy. Okay, okay, here we go. October 15th are what a dollar thirty-four, something like that. Um, so you'd be paying thirteen sixty-six to buy the stock if you got exercised. So that's pretty good protection. Uh, and uh, we're at sixteen sixty seven here, so yeah, I like that deal. I, I like the deal. Even even the seventeen uh, fifties, um, but uh, the seventeen fifties have no premium. They they have no pre so I wouldn't bother with those. I'd go with those fifteens. Definitely look at the fifteens for October. Uh, take a buck thirty something off the table. 
uh, right now and, and commit to buying the stock at maybe thirteen seventy a share uh, between now and October. I like your chances of keeping all that money for yourself. I like it. Now, if you can do 100 shares or 200 or 500, whatever you can do. Absolutely. Uh, wouldn't that be a similar scenario for ATIP? Um, uh, not sure which which you're referring to. Are you talking about? We're up, by the way, 21 cents on ATIP. We just popped here to 459. I think we're at the high of the day right now. Yep, this is the high of the day on ATIP. Just had 100,000 go through here. Uh, uh, ATIP, uh, are you asking me about writing puts or something? Isaiah, you got to be more specific. Uh, swear, uh, I'm out of here. Have a good day to all. Happy birthday, Jen. And Andy, I feel like going back to sleep. We've got um, SoFi now down a nickel. GameStop up 628 to 158 now. ATIP 460 up 22 cents. Uh, and 23 me at 924. Uh, very good. Um, yeah, I like the idea of, of writing puts on uh, on. I also uh, so share a birthday with Dan Levy. Dan Levy, all oh, right on. Yes. Right on. One of Robin's favorites. I love that. Way to go. We can hang out. Anyone uh, who who doesn't? Be friends. Yeah, yeah. Dan Levy. So that's Dan Levy, and that's um, and it's uh, Jillian Anderson, and it's Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick. All today. Spectacular. How did he say that in the movie last Spectacular. 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 Larry Crown. Spectacular. Right on. Right on. tell us where he's from probably by knowing how they say that. I guess, eh? Happy birthday, Jen, says uh, Sharon. It's Jen's birthday? Happy birthday, Jen. It is. It's Jen's birthday. Uh, she said, our son's birthday was yesterday, Sharon is saying. Congratulations there. Happy birthday. See? Um, and my friend, the other Jennifer, it was birthday yesterday. There you go. There's birthdays everywhere. See? It's weird. There you go. <laughs> mm hmm Here's a comment on a on an option program I wrote uh, on on July seventeenth. So this is what two couple weeks ago. I wrote two e EXPI forty dollar covered calls uh, that were expiring um, September seventeenth. Okay, so they still have a ways to go. Uh, I took in four hundred eighteen dollars uh, in premium. Um, the shares were thirty two at the time. Now they're at fifty one. That's an eighteen dollars. Um, at 200 shares is 36. Well, the uh, so you're telling me that the contracts are trading at $18 each, the stocks at 51. So are you telling me that these contracts are trading at a premium of uh, of $7 a piece? Because book value, if you're trading at $51, there the value of the contracts are 11 each, $2,200, right? Not 3,600. Uh, buy to close will cost me 2,200. Should I buy to close? I, I would not. Uh, I would definitely not. Um, I would I would sit tight uh, at this point. Even, you might get exercised out at forty, of course. So you'll you'll take the forty plus the uh, four eighteen. But what you could do in theory, the only way I would buy these back is if I were to roll into new contracts. But I would wait right now because between now, uh, this being the 9th of August, and about three weeks from now. These contracts are going to shrink in value because the time premiums are really going to get crushed. They've got a premium right here, from what I can see, uh, of uh, of uh, seven dollars a piece per share. So that seven dollars is going to disappear. That will save you fourteen hundred dollars, just if the stock stays at fifty one. If the shares back off to forty six, for example, like back off five bucks. Those contracts will only be worth six dollars each, and at that point, you'd only be be paying a, a, about two hundred dollars more per contract to get it back, which again could allow you to then turn around, buy back at six, and recreate new, say, fifty dollar calls 
for November or December and bring in probably six or eight and bring in more. At this moment in time, in theory, theoretically, could you buy back these at 18, 16 and write two new contracts for, say, November or December that are uh, 50s or 55s or 52s for this much money or more? That might be a thought, but right now I wouldn't buy these back. Um, no, these are going to shrink in value now as each day goes by because this next 30 days, these expire uh, to just be book value only. Of course, the shares have gone up. There's no question about that. But um, uh, unless you get bought out or exercised, I wouldn't twitch right now. I would just sit with what you got. If you did get bought out, you, know, you got exercised, um, and if you can afford it, I would buy the shares back at market and then immediately write, say, 55s uh, for two or three months from now and take in the premiums because, um, you know, these are these look to be getting a serious premium right now, a pre serious book value, premium value. So look at that. Um, <laughs> David, David, hi, Uncle Bruce. My wife and I decided we don't want any kids. We're going to tell them tonight at dinner. Good plan. Good, good plan. Yeah, yeah. That's the, yeah, be up front. You know, hey, don't hold back. Relatively good five years. Come on, we'll that's right. <laughs> nice. Uh, what do we got going on? So far, sixteen sixty-five down uh, six cents. Uh, we've got um, twenty-three. Me at nine twenty-two. Matterport down a nickel. Uh, we got ATIP at 461, up 23 cents a share. Right on. Okay. Uh, go ATIP. Um, let's see. Uh, what else is going on? Mm -mm -mm. JB, I have four calls on, on uh, 23 and me. Uh, 1250 strike uh, expiring October 15. Bought at dollar five. Currently they're 35 cents. When does the case start and when does it accelerate? Thank you. Well, uh, between about uh, September 15, 18, 20, and uh, October 15, they'll go from 35 and they'll lose a nickel a week uh, after that. Uh, but between now and a uh, month from now, uh, the share price will have an effect on these uh, still. Uh, obviously, if the shares, like they're up 55 cents today, if they moved up 55 cents later this week again and got it to the 980 to $10 neighborhood, these might be reaching 50 cents, 45.55. If the shares were to reach in the next, like next week, which would be like uh, August 15th, if by that point these shares reach 10.50 to 11, if they got into that neighborhood, these contracts would immediately run to about 75 cents, 85 cents. Still, you're still down on them, but you're now within striking distance. Obviously, 23andMe, this stock could pop two bucks at any time on the upside. If it jumped two dollars tomorrow to 1150, your contracts would probably be 75, 85 cents. If they if they jump from uh, from say 10 to 12, 1250, got the book value, you'd probably be back to about a dollar, dollar ten for a while. But the stock has got to move for you obviously some dollars there's no there's no if ands or buts about it um but the the last 35 cents will grind away in the last three weeks of the life of the contract just on, on in general okay uh now gary gary b says with respect to cx uh cyxt warrants the sextera warrants i've gleaned the following from scc there's one warrant uh, may be exercised. The warrants can be exercised uh, after um, September 14th of this year. Uh, uh, the warrants expire in 2026, uh, July 29th, 2026. They have a long time to live. And so that's that's the deal on those warrants. I believe the exercise price is 1150 a share until 2026. So if the shares themselves, Sixtera shares, reach 10 to $12, or better, these warrants will have value. They might have value as high as three dollars a piece if the stock just reached eleven fifty. That would be all premium because it's a five-year deal. 
obviously, if the shares go to fifteen dollars, then these these uh, warrants are in the money. Now, I'm not sure. Is it one warrant plus eleven fifty, or is it two warrants? What's the ratio? I don't know. Uh, but still, that much I can see. All right. Don't forget about ME earnings on Friday. There you go. ME will be talking. Uh, and this is the thing. They will also be, uh, you know, I'm sure they will be doing, uh, you know, a lot of promotion and everything else. So uh, stand by. Hopefully this is only the beginning. A 54 cent gain today is the beginning of a, of a nice run, which would be fine with me. 1665 on SoFi down 6 cents. Uh, 23 meat, 157.50 right now at 572. ATIP 457 up 19 cents. AMC is up 70 cents. Matterport down 3 cents. And 23 me up 54. That's what we got right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got 171 warrants. I had 500 shares. Three to one. That's right. For every three shares you had, you have one warrant additional. And I believe it's one, one warrant plus 1150 gets you another share. I think that's the deal. Which means the company is increasing its, its uh, free flow from that that deal that merged by a third potentially i'm curious to know uh whether um, any of the warrants will be guaranteed exercised or not by any party but at this point i don't think that's the deal thanks uncle b says jb you got it okay i'm back from my meetings welcome carter cole welcome back nice to have you here okay Okay, uh, there you go. There's where we're at right now. Uh, this this market, we're down 98 on the Dow. We were a little better a few minutes ago. We're down 5 on S&P. We're up 21, 22 on NASDAQ right now. All right. Mm. Okay, 16.66 on SoFi, down 6 cents. Uh, this is screaming a buy to me. Just a just a buy. It's an absolute buy here. Um, this is gonna. This is not gonna last here. Not gonna last. Uh, why the face IBM from DQ? There you go. Why the face IBM right now down a dollar thirty two? Why is it breaking hearts today? What did we do to deserve this? I have no idea. Anyway, I have quite a few ME contracts, and I'm really on the fence about them. Well, ME, you get uh, you get four or five days like today. Uh, in the next week or two, uh, you're now dealing with a stock in the uh, 1150 neighborhood, and that's, that changes things quickly. That that really changes things quickly. So do not uh, don't be going anywhere. Uh, we're on the edge here of a of a possible breakout, which would be great. You know what? SVT says I sold the warrants for 185. Way to go. Um, okay. I'm surprised there isn't more talk on SoFi's Galileo acquisition, which seems to have much more potential than the retail side of SoFi. It was uh, it was third party sellers that created the behemoth called Amazon. Interesting, huh? Um, I always enjoy some clown use Matterport cameras on a client's house early morning while listening to Uncle Bruce talk about Matterport in the market. Love it. <laughs> All right. Um, or Bruce, maybe ME bombs because you know it, it does an ATIP. Uh, it's possible, but eh, I don't think so. I'm not. I'm not thinking. Uh, let's see, Uncle Bruce. Are these spacs, as these spacs are now newly listed companies, how does the market weigh their previous Q earnings, quarter earnings, and when they only report they were still private, or is the same fundamental? Um, the market is going to. The market will will cut these companies some slack because um, you know they were private companies a year ago, six months ago. Now they're private. They're public. But being public companies are now fully funded with this new cash, so they they won't take too much stock in the old in the old financials. They also know that the game plan going forward here is likely that these companies are going to transition quite a bit because they're public now. They have a lot of capital, and they also have stock they can issue from Treasury if they want to do a merger, a takeover, or whatever. And so they're very forgiving here in the first six months to say. You, 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 when you, you know, please tell us your plan as you want to, you know, as you want to divulge it, we're, we're here to, you know, grow with you guys because all these newly listed companies will not be the same a year from now. They'll be very different. Look at, look at 
uh, DraftKings. DraftKings, the, the month before they took over the SPAC and became public, they're not the same company anymore. This company is completely transformed out. They have made dozens of deals, dozens, and now they're doing a takeover of, uh, of the Golden Nugget online gaming for $1.5 billion. I mean, th th these guys are, are so far down the road now already, and, and it hasn't even been a year. Um, the, every SPAC that I've put you guys towards that I've told you about, same thing. These companies a year from now will not be similar to what they look like today. That's the point of going public is to become a much larger growing entity through acquisition, merger, and what have you. And whether they finance the deals through bond offerings, whether they do it through stock offerings, whether they do it through mergers, through just stock mergers, uh, time will tell. I mean, there's a million ways to go here. Uh, I don't mind these guys issuing stock. Like, for example, DraftKings. I don't mind DraftKings issuing stock to buy up Golden Nugget <clears throat> because all of cash, all the cash flow of Golden Nugget is now inside so uh, inside of uh, uh, DraftKings. That's just lifted DraftKings financials dramatically, absolutely dramatically. And it's going to make a whole bunch of analysts on Wall Street get their calculators out and refigure everything and then come out to the market and say, this acquisition is going to be a cash cow for DraftKings. And, and going forward with, with SoFi and with ATIP and with uh, Matterport and 23Me, all these SPACs, as they start to acquire cash flowing other corporations, whether they're private or public, this will change their financials completely. Uh, it will will take them to another level, and that's where you're going to start seeing <clears throat> analysts come out and say, "This stock's a buy for the next two years." Absolutely, you want to be in with these guys because this management group is aggressive, and they're looking to make deals. They've got Wall Street backing to 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 do acquisitions. I would not be surprised that Matterport or 23andMe, to be more specific, 23andMe. I can see those guys bringing in five billion dollars like that in cash through a bond offering like a senior note offering to acquire another company and just merge it into 23andme i can see that happening that would take 23andme's number of projections way out of whack way higher stock outstanding wouldn't increase one share whatsoever the debt load would go up but it would be financed against the acquisition itself which will more than pay for it and the stock could double in price just on one of those that that and any time that can happen with 23andMe, don't put it past these guys. Uh, remember, Richard Branson and a whole bunch of people are involved in this thing. There's some serious connections here, serious promotions, serious money behind this deal. Matterport, same thing. Matterport could be either take over others or could be a takeover target itself. What if in a year from now, Matterport gets a $100 a share takeover offer? Watch out. I mean, this thing's gone, right? You'll make a killing on it. We're unchanged on Matterport, by the way. We're up 49 cents on 23andMe. Uh, ATIP at 462, up 24 cents now. Um, GameStop at 158.67, up 690. Uh, SoFi 675, up 4 cents. So the markets are coming back on. We're back in the green on Matterport. There you go. Uh, I, I tell my wife in the morning that I have to go take an ATIP. She knows exactly what that is. Um, <laughs> oh man warrants uh one warrant exercisable to buy a share of cyxt uh class a at 11.50 a share that's what i thought yeah there you go um yeah richard branson is not satisfied with a 920 stock no no he's also a very patient guy but he also has his plans too and just 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 know that this stock at this price isn't going to be here very long in the history of this company it isn't going to be under ten dollars very long and it isn't going to be under 15 very long either in the history of this story when it's all said and done but i can't tell you the minute it takes off i can tell you it's up 50 cents now today that i can tell you but will it be up a dollar 50 from here day after tomorrow i i can't tell you that but i'm guessing it will sooner or later be much higher than this because Branson isn't here for fun. Uh, no, he's, he's too old to be here for fun. I mean, you know.
It's time to time for results. 1675 on SoFi up three cents on the day. Uh, GameStop right now, 158.47, 158.76, a little higher than the than the low dip we had. We got a little dip into this 157 range. Now 158.76 looking better. All right, there it is. There it is. Uh, SoFi green again. Matterport green at the same time. Is that normal? Uh, they're all green. My entire front page, all green. They're all green here. Um, heck, even, heck, yeah, even with NAFSITE and VACQ and FA, FWA, all green, or at least broken even. Unreal. This is great. I'm not used to this all green all the time. That's kind of nice. Kind of like to, I like to see that. It's kind of, no, if only IBM would go up. But the Dow is down 109 points. That's what we have on the Dow right now, 109 drop. S&P down 7.9 and NASDAQ up 18. Okay. Well, here we go. For reference, Branson's SBCE dipped to $7 post SPAC and hit like $35 three months later. Totally possible, even likely for it to move. That's possible. Uh, don't put, don't underestimate 23 and me at all. Matterport up three cents now, 15.25. Um, AMC up 62 cents. Uh, ATIP Physical Therapy 4.63 up 25 cents. We're approaching the high of the day again on 700,000 shares. There's volume coming in now to buy it, and it's beginning to inch higher. Very good. It might hit five today. GameStop 158.13 and SoFi up two cents now, 16.73. Hood, Robin Hood up a dollar thirty-nine. All right, I bleed money. IBM all green all the time. Quote of the day says Kev Lay. There you go. Let's go, babies. Let's take this to the moon, please. Uh, Nine twenty-five up fifty-five on twenty-three and me. We're up six cents now on Matterport. Fifteen twenty-eight. All right. Okay. Okay. Go Matterport, go. Please do. Indeed. Low of the day was in 1490. About a half an hour into the day, 1490. And now it is at 1523. So it's 33 cents higher on the day from its low of the day. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Uh, and yeah, here we go. Uh, hey, Bruce, I loaded the MTTR app on my phone and scanned my business interior. The result is a very high quality 3D model. This is the future of Matterport. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I mean, if you're thinking of selling your business to somebody else, you do this, you send them that file, and they get to see your store in 3D from wherever they are. And then you get to comment on what it is they're looking at. And uh, yeah, you're helping you're helping yourself show off your business. Absolutely. You know, you're trying to bring in a product to add to your line and the, 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 the outfit wants to know if you're a legitimate operator. You show them the star pictures and they go, yeah, you're legitimate. Right on. You tell them you give me your product and I'll place it right here in my store. Yeah. Top floor position for sure. Uh, anyway. And when Facebook went public, I didn't buy in since I didn't know how they made money besides ads. I'm in. I'm in for ME as data makes money. Exactly. Happy birthday, Jen. Thanks for making it greet to Scott Brewer. Geo, I wanted to sell my GameStop. No, I want to make say no. I want to save my General Motors and save uh, and save position today. But this red says no, I can't level. I bought GMA 22 and save a 23. Oh, okay. Well, time will tell. Um anyway. There you go. Uh, SoFi now up a nickel to 1676. GameStop back to 159, up 723. We got uh, ATIP now 463, up a quarter. AMC 3342, up 72 cents. Matterport up 8 cents to 1531. No, 9 cents. 1531, the high of the day, or, or going co towards the high of the day again. We're coming on right now. Uh, 23 meat 928 up 58 cents. We're up 19 on fifth wall, up 10 on vector, unchanged on nav site, only down 13 on six terra. IBM still a buck 29, breaking everybody's heart right now. That's what we have over there. Every body, welcome to the party, pal. Uh, nice to have you around. Okay. Sure. 
Sure. Uh, Robert Benson says the legendary punk band Sex Pistols helped Branson build his empire. Uh, all the rock and roll acts help him build his empire. I saw another documentary on the weekend on uh, on the Geffen, David Geffen. Really interesting. I really enjoyed that too. They had a lot of uh, interesting people they, they talked to about him. Very interesting life. Uh, amazing. What a story. Uh, 468 up 30 cents on ATIP. 1529 up 7 cents on Matterport. Uh, ATIP, that is pushing the high today here of 468 around right now. Uh, we just hit it a few moments ago. Looking great on, on ATIP. We're, we're wide open to five bucks here. Wide open. Uh, it could happen. It could happen today. Mm. All right. Uh, love it. Love this move up on the stock. Matterport, 1531 up nine. Yeah, yeah. And 927 on 23 and me up 57 cents. GameStop 159.30 up 762. Okay. Dow's down 99. SP down 695. NASDAQ down uh, up 14 right now. Okay. Take these gains, boy. I love this green, these green arrows all over the place. Uh, it's a nice, uh, nice change. Uh, couldn't happen to nicer people. Us, us, us. Yes, that's right. Us folk. Yeah, man. Uh, Wall Street Journal. Let's take a look at some headlines. Hoo -hoo -wee. Oh, my. Yep, oil slides are over China Delta variant outlook. That's why oil is sliding today. Um Senate Democrats outline a three and a half trillion dollar anti-poverty climate plan. Um, let's see. Uh, oh boy. Hmm. Story here about Lordstown uh, Motors. Um, uh, er, early Lordstown Motors investor workhorse group sold 72% of its stake in the startup. They said that it sold 11.9 million shares on Lordstown since July, reducing its 9% stake by nearly three quarters. So they're walking away from what I can say. Uh, so far up now, a nickel. I gave some up 794 to 159.72. We're pushing 160 again. ATIP up 28 cents to 466. Matterport up 8 to 1530. And 23 me now 931 up 61 cents. High the day 944 on 23 and me. Good, good. Okay. That's what we got. Um, Yep, 467 on ATIP. Uh, we're right near the high, 468, right there. We're right at it. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, do you remember the title of the documentary? Uh, something about, was it Being David Geffen or uh, something, something like that? Being David Geffen on Netflix, if I recall. I believe it was Netflix. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Netflix. Hmm. Hey, what happened to the sofa? I walk away from it. I don't know. It's down a little bit. Um. <laughs> What's the deal with GameStop? Why, 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 why? Uh, three and a half trillion. Unreal. Man, yeah, it's over 10 years. So it's a $350 billion annual expenditure. Um, and it is probably uh, shifting some dough around here and there. The bond market won't mind a bit if the United States wants to borrow this money for this purpose because it's it's for the health of the country. Good move. Probably a very good move. Um, what else we have going on here? 467 on ATIP up 29 cents. Uh, Matterport up a dime to 1532. ME 932 up 62 cents. Uh, GameStop 159.57. 
60 to 80. Oh, it's so far up nine. Come on, so far. Oh, you're so fine, so far. Ah, did you watch a social dilemma? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, no, not yet. Watch some Olympic coverage. Um, and I slept. <laughs> I slept. Trying to catch up on my energy levels here. Uh, not easy, I'll tell you. 468, we're up to the new high again on ATIP. We just touched it. 469, we just broke it. New high now on so on ATIP. Brand new high. Up 29, up 31 cents now. 469, up 31 cents. High of the day. Just being breached right now. Mm-hmm. New stimulus package, uh, three and a half trillion dollar anti property. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh boy, Brucey boy, he's struggling here. He is struggling today. Nine thirty eight on twenty three and me up sixty eight cents. Nice to see that. Uh, you know, nice little push here. Keep it coming, guys. Keep it coming. Anthony says, looking for a new house in the UK. Matterport's amazing. The house we were looking at had Matterport. I even detected the house needed rewiring because of the type of sockets. An amazing bit of a kit. There you go. There you go. Um, wow, eh? AB, if you'd have told me a year ago I'd be very interested in the markets, I'd have told you you were crazy. Thanks, Uncle Bruce, for making me understand how you generate wealth. It ain't from working 9 to 5 with pension 30 years. No, 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 that's not it. What are the odds ATP hits 12 bucks by November? CEO searches take some time. I don't think it's going to take that long. Well, I mean, of course it can. Obviously, I mean, you know, anything is possible. But what if, the, what if they bring in a hitter um, and there's an immediate $3 pop on the stock? They uh, they start announcing uh, you know mergers acquisitions. I mean sooner or later, sooner or faster than we thought, things can turn. I don't know. Just saying, four seventy one up thirty three cents. First step five bucks a share. That's the first stage right there. First step five. Let's go from there. Okay. Anyway, there it is, Uncle Bruce. I bought some covered calls on on Goldman Sachs. But I bought some. Uh, uh, some covered calls uh, uh, expire January 20. Okay, um, 275 and two. Okay, two of the 275 strike, two of the 380. When do I sell the contracts to maximize my profit on Goldman Sachs? So you bought Goldman. Uh, where are we at on the stock here? Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. We're up four bucks now to 401. Nice job. Uh, Goldman, Goldman Sachs. There we go. So a uh, volume of 1.4 million. The shares are trading, the company's trading at 7.3 times earnings, okay? You got to get to 11, 12 times earnings, but even if you wait until it got to 7, that'd be 30% more in price. 520 would be your pricing. So, you know, picking off these contracts, beautifully done, and um, sitting on a 275 contract and a 380 contract, you're in the money on everything. You're going to enjoy uh, very high gamma numbers. Uh, if the stock goes up a dollar, your 275s will go up like 97 cents each. If the 380s, the stock goes up a dollar, the $380 contracts will likely go up like 75, 80 cents a piece. So you're getting a lot of benefit here from this up, this constant movement, and uh, uh, you've got a ways to go yet. Uh, you know, you've got another hundred a share coming your way. Uh, really got a nice little situation going, and I'm very happy to see that. That was one of those recommendations I made to members only a couple of weeks ago, uh, and I'm happy to see you pulling that in there. That's good stuff. Really good. Um, I just watched a, a, a documentary with the flash crash. Those are interesting. Um, yeah. Really interesting. Uh, let's go. ME making a run through 940. 944 now. On 23 me up 74 cents. Matterport up 16 to 1538. Uh, ATIP 470 up 32 cents. Yeah, looking good. 159.65 on GameStop. SoFi up seven. Uh, sorry, I bought contracts. Yeah, I figured you did, Joe. And uh, you're doing great. You're doing great. 
um, and you're gonna make more money here. Another thing too, people try to get these horrendously competitive, stressful fang jobs just to be just to be amazing stock options. You can you can just so you know make investments yourself. That's right. <laughs> Uh, damage. I'm not a fan of ATIP. They cannot find people to work in their centers, and now they're looking for CEO long. Who knows how much future sounds back? Well, you know, they they like everyone else uh, is trying to get in the health business. You're trying to find staff in the middle of a pandemic. Not easy. It's not it's not because the company is bad. It's there's a pandemic going on, but they're dealing with it. There's a lot of people who would rather work at ATIPs and hospitals because there's a lot less stress here. Uh, and a CEO move, the perfect thing. It's exactly what I want, uh, and the market's liking it. The market is saying to all of us, "This is a good thing." Stocks up thirty-three cents. Get a new, uh, get a new guy in here. Yeah. Uh, call contract, not cover call. Got it. Thank you, DQ. Um, and w w hey, Uncle Bruce, why are they only allowing us to sell options for Matterport between twelve forty and thirteen? I have no idea what this means, Connor. I don't know what you're talking about. Bruce, what do you think of the Navender Singhs, the guy who apparently contributed to the crash? I, I, I have no comment on that. I have no idea. You want to know why ATF won't hit 12? I own it. Ah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> I, I look like a genius today, says SVT. Uh, I'm almost at 50 bucks a share. There you go. Bill, um, it's essential that you get ahead of the news. There are trillions and trillions of new programs coming on, and they will affect the stock market in a drastic way. Get ahead of the curve, people. That's right. This, uh, this stimulus program, though it's coming, Huge for the markets. Huge for the markets. We're up 34 on ATIP. It's 473 now. High of the day, 473. Looking on, going on our way to five now on ATI Physical Therapy. Good, good move here. Matterport up 13. 23 me up 70 to 940. Yeah, so 750 and $10 contracts are looking a lot better. The 1250s are coming around with a little life perhaps. We'll take it. Keep it coming, baby. It can do it. Um, SoFi, 16.80, up nine cents. GameStop, 159.87, going for 160 again, up 8.10 on GameStop. Very good. Wow, 23 me. It's looking good. The information bill is trash. The infrastructure bill is trash. Bunch of handouts for politicians. That's what was being sought. This thought there. 159.92. On GameStop, 159.92, coming back to the 160 level yet again. Um, very good. We did uh, bottom out into that 157 range, and now we're back to about 160. Good to see. ATIP up four, up to 473, up 35 cents. 23 me at 940, up 70 cents. Okay. Super duper. Um, Another thing I noticed, a lot of people who actually work in these high-end jobs, not all, their families invested well too. So it's kind of like they work in these jobs as a hobby. Uh, if it hits 10 bucks today, I will bong a beer, and I haven't done that since college. <laughs> uh, they invest in the stock option five years, and then to get their own business going, it, it isn't their ultimate goal to work in the high-end fang stuff, etc. Well, that's what a lot of these folks have done. People have worked for fang companies for five, six, seven years, piled up a bunch of stock, build built wealth, and then go out on their own as consultants and start their own businesses. Sure. Uh, there you go. Um, you know, if ME hits 10 bucks today, I'm back to break even. Well, you're 60 cents away. You're that close. Uh, the trick with reading the Wall Street Journal, other sources of news, SEC filings, is to read between the lines. All right. Infrastructure bill is going to bankrupt this country, but thanks for your thought, Uncle B. I don't think so. I don't think that's uh, – no, no, no. You guys are fine. The amount of money you're going to save by not being in Afghanistan anymore uh, will more than pay for it. Uh, it's incredible. Unfortunately, uh, you know, what's happening over there is what's happening, but that's the way it is. Um, let's see. I have a ton of twelve fifty and $15 ME calls. Really, I need a turnaround. Almost wish I had waited to buy them. I bought when it was uh, – when SVAC was 10. It could have gotten almost twice as many calls. You, we don't know. You don't know what happens when we do what happens. It's now up 70 cents today. Uh, day isn't over. Uh, you know, give me five 70 cent days in a row and it changes the complexion of everything around here on that stock. So hang in there. Uh, let's go. Um, Robert, it's a document driver, former social engineers at F Facebook, Twitter, who give lots of mind blowing insight info on the intentionally addict you and devastating effects on the society. Anti, it, it is fascinating, riveting, and a little scary, but good. And when the credits start rolling, don't turn off. Pay attention to the tips they've given during the credits. 
Uh, I just broke even on ATIP. Woohoo! Uh, 471 right now. Carter, uh, my plan was to waste all my money. It was pretty stupid. If I had been investing the whole time, I would be retiring by now. Testing on got to build, invest yourself on the financial crisis, not save money. Vash, laugh along at Auntie. Um, that couldn't sound more gross. Watch until the end to find out. Stay tuned for more. There we are. Um, SoFi, 1681. Up a dime. GameStop of 853 to 160. 30. We have cracked 160 again. ATIP 471 up 33 cents. AMC holding a one dollar gain. Matterport up 18 cents to 15.40 and 23 me up up 70 cents to 9.40 a share on 823,000 volume today. Matterport 213,000 volume today at the high of the day here. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, ATIP 471 up 33 cents. SoFi up a dime to 16.81. There you go. Uncle Bruce, you said ATIP was a bargoon at 311, so I bought 200. Thanks. It's my. It's the only stock getting massive movements. Yay! Right on, right on, man. You're going higher. It's still a bargoon. Uh, way Walters, how did you break even? It dropped like 80 percent. Did you buy a ton more back at the two range? Man, this is like the good old days. It's nice to see this, isn't it? Uh, I wish I coulda, woulda, shoulda, coulda. You know how it is. It is the way it is. You get in, you hang around, see what you can do. These stocks can come around here, 159.98 on Scheme Stock, 470 on ATIP, 15.35 on Matterport, up 13, 23 me, 941, up 71 cents. Whew. Wow. Oh, man. What do we got here? 255. I'm getting close to shutting it down. I'll be on again three times more today. I don't know how, but I will be. I'll be on at 3 o'clock here. For the final hour of trading, join me this afternoon. I'll be on Traveling with Bruce twice, 7 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock for sponsor members, and 8 o'clock for the big show. We're going to talk about travel and cruising. And uh, I invite you to join me three more times if you dare. Uh, come on around. Let's see what happens. Uh, thank you, all of you. Um, mm, mm, mm. Interesting stuff. Thank you all for, for hanging around with me today. We'll have some fun later today. Um, those of you who've been watching my classes, uh, thank you, of course. Uh, eight classes are now uploaded on my website, stockmarketswithbruce.ca. Check them out at your leisure. Lessons one through eight. Uh, lots to learn, lots to understand, lots to pick up, all kinds of different uh, tips, trip, tricks, strategies, options, and everything else. Uh, learning the psychology of the markets and all of that good stuff, too. Um, fantastic. Um, anyway, yeah, yeah. Well, well, can I say all-time high for job listings? I know it. Carter, I know it. That's what's happening down south. 23 and me up again. 9.43, up 73 cents. A little better. How about that? Um, cool beans, man. This is, this is cool beans. I love it. Alrighty, there it is. The SoFi dip from 17 this morning was just a profit taking. It was nice to see that. And I, I think it'll go back up there again. It'll go higher. Thank you for joining me this morning, everybody. Catch up with me today at 3. We'll see you there for the final hour of trading. We'll try to understand this market and play in English. Hopefully it's as green as it is, if not better than this. And we'll see what's going on. 10.30 comes up fast. Uncle Bruce, you on uh, Monday mornings are the best part of the week. Thank you, Cloak. I appreciate the kind words. Uh, very much all of you um, will get uh, we'll get together at 3 o'clock this afternoon and see if we can make some more money between now and then. In the meantime, we'll, stay, we'll see you a little later. Stay healthy, and we'll catch up with you later today. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.